So every question we have for our um, president, yeah, we are yeah, uh, yeah, to uh, today. Yeah. We are asking them today. <laughs> this is the closest <laughs> word again. Um, Pirates coming. <laughs> <laughs> can you can you describe what it means to be a special advisory to the president? The the way you advise the president. You don't just wake up because, because you see a story and then you take a, a phone or you say I want to meet you, president. When people with money like yourselves and others, we, oh, hey, don't, 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 don't call me chief. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> me, I drink, I drink him sozo for everything. <laughs> Headache. I'm, so I'm, uh, I'm not buying your face. It's massive. Yeah. And quite I've got enough. no face to buy. I'm broke. I <laughs> <say>. <laughs> When I buy it, I'll make it better. <laughs> when? When the MK yeah, party yeah, starts. Yeah, yeah, what, yeah. what advice did you give him there? Or did you even never discuss We didn't even focus. You'll never hear him talking about them. Okay. You'll never. But what are we doing about the illegal foreigners that are already inside the country? I don't want to talk about these things. And these are societal matters. Lord no, Shady. it's not less shitty. Yeah. It's not. <laughs> <laughs> it's what? Our, our, the problem is our comrades is they don't do the job. Mm. You know, you see MECs and ministers mm. at clubs, mm. at parties, mm. with bodyguards waiting in the parking lot. It's embarrassing. Uh, Ghost Lady, this is a very special episode for me, man. Uh, remember I told you JJ is a WhatsApp inf influencer? Yeah. <laughs> what WhatsApp influencers today? Yep. So I'm camping there on his WhatsApp oh. and I see this video and I'm like, wow, man, this is so powerful. We've got to get this guy on the podcast. Listen what? to this, man. Okay. Let me play it for you. ...amongst each other for no reason. And the fight is not about changing the lives of our people. It's about us accessing money and nothing else. And it can't continue. I disagree with it. That's why some of us will continue staying in Mutu Lapis Luchan. I wake up every day from a Mutu Luchan. I live with poverty every day. Mm. Every day I wake up as Luchan, I see poverty. And it, may, it conscientizes you that you need to bring change. I'm not saying it's wrong to stay in, 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 in lush and plush places. Don't hear me badly or wrongly. There is nothing wrong with it. But I'm orientated differently. I believe that if I live with those people, it will forever remind me that there is much work that needs to be done. Mm. You can't go and sleep while you know there are people that need help, while you are given positions of responsibilities. Being called an executive, you just enjoy going to address meeting, you just enjoy sitting and uh, having lunches every day, you enjoy sleeping in hotels, flying and everything. But what do you do? Not the lunches, man. Why are you going after the lunches? <laughs> The lunch. For the people. Yes. Yes. To me, it's about that. Yes. To me, it's practical. It should be about that. What do you do? What are you doing? Bring these bright minds. They will help you. They will help you to change things if you can't think. If you don't have ideas, they will give you ideas. Mm. And they are black. Yes. That's what I like. Yes. Not saying whites can't give us. But Africans will help you more. Mm. And they will fast track the change mm. because you know the reality, all of you. Mm. Ah, beautiful. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the special advisor to the president, Mbongi Seni Chomo Sibi. Yeah! Oh. Bro, after seeing that, I was like, JJ, we got to have this guy on. What was going on there, man? That message is powerful. <clears throat> no, thank you. Thank you, uh, JJ. Uh, Meg. Mm. Meg G yeah. and JJ mm. and yeah. everyone. No, no, no. This was uh, in 2021 when I was still the MEC of Human Settlements and Public Works in KZN. I was addressing uh, professionals, all the professionals that are involved in the construction industry. Let me say in the built sector industry. Yeah. So we had all the engineers, mm. the architects and mm. the likes and other politicians who are the likes of uh, Colin Dube. They were part of the meeting. So... We were dealing with the, the challenges that the government is facing in trying to help, in particular, black business um, people who are involved in construction industry. And uh, we had to deal with it aggressively. Yeah. My responsibility being an MEC when I came in there was to bring change. Mm -hmm. Most important thing to some of us is about change. It's not just being in positions of power and do nothing. Yeah. So that speech, it came from the heart. It was yeah. not written. It mm. just came from the heart because it's what we believe in. It's what I believe should be done. <clears throat> the reality is that 
most of the time we tend to point fingers to other people. We point fingers to the president. The president is not doing A, B, and C, so and so. Mm. is not doing this, this and that. What are we doing? Mm. As MECs, what are we doing? We are got executive powers. Mayors, what are they doing? Councillors, what are they doing? But those who are in public sector, in private sector, what are they doing? Mm. Well, you guys, what is your responsibility? in the country, because the country needs all of us. Mm -hmm. We can't point one man and say he's failing all of us. But all of us who are their ministers, all of us, what is our responsibilities? DGs, everyone, mm -hmm. what becomes our responsibility? If we all can push, believe you me, the country can change. But we are obsessed about one man. Mm -hmm. The president must do A, B, and C. But also we are, uh, we are obsessed <clears throat> about government. Government must always produce this and that, must always give us this and that. But the reality is that it need, the country needs all of us. Mm -hmm. What are we doing? I even said, <clears throat> moving forward, our children will insult us. Yeah. They will say, what did we do? At the time. At the time when we were in charge. At the time when Meg G at this big podcast, mm. what was your role? Mm. But what was the role of the public sector in the country? Okay. What was the role of everyone in government? So it, it's such uh, 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 emotional uh, kind of uh, provocation that I was trying to do and uh, trying to make sure that everybody wakes up and say, oh, what landed. are we doing? No, it landed. But so you still stay in, in your village where you grew up? I stay in my village full time. Yeah. My village is deep rural area of Ngutu. I grew up there. I was born there in 1977. Mm. There was no electricity, no water. I only got to see an ambulance when I was about 15 or 16. Wow. We what? never had, I swear, we, mm. electricity, we only had electricity in 2008 after uh, ANC took over in KZN. Mm. But quite a number of things we didn't have. Schools were a challenge. We, I grew up sitting in a, in a rock at mm. school. We didn't have desks. It's a reality. Mm. And I still stay there. But a lot has happened. A lot of change has been brought. But let's be honest. You, you live in a mansion, eh? No. You don't? I don't live in a mansion. I, I live in a rural area. There's mansions in the rural area. Let me put it as such. Mm. Being in a rural area doesn't mean that you don't have to help to own anything. Yes. But mine being in a rural area and continuing to live in that area is because I've got a challenge that I posed to myself and said, Jomo, if you leave these people, who's going to emancipate mm -hmm. them? Who's going to take them out of poverty? Yeah. I wake up there every day, even when I was the MPL, when I was the MEC, I would drive to Deben three hours it's three hours from home. Mm. I will drive to Peter Maritzburg every day. It's three hours from home. Mm. It's their commitment. And we've done quite a lot for those people. But again, those people must always be inspired and say the son of the soil is still with, is still with us. And the change that we have brought amongst the society in those areas where we live, in the villages that we live in, it, it inspires even those who are coming uh, after us. All of them will see that, no, 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 I can stay in a village. Mm. We can just change life in our village. We, we can't all flock Johannesburg. No, we can't. We can't mm. all flock Umslanga in Deben. Yeah. We can't flock Cape Town. Some of us must be in rural areas and villages, but also we don't just sit there. We must do something to change the lives of those people. There's something really powerful that you did. Uh, JJ, you know the story where um, there was a woman who was staying in a cave, ne? Yes. yes. Yeah. Uh, well, explain that. What happened, JJ? So, I mean, I came across the story on YouTube on, I think, one of the SABC shows. And I also saw, so I went to Facebook to look for it, you know. Um, it looked like, Mr. Mr. Zbier, there was a woman living in a cave and you are literally walking into the cave. That woman is lying down. And, you know, somehow you guys build a house. I mean, how, how, what happened there? Okay, no, that, uh, I remember that story very, very well. It was uh, still in 2021. Yes, 2021, November. Mm. Um, the story came out uh, on... Um, What's the, the show, the SAPC one show? It's, um, yeah. I'm forgetting the name of yeah, the show. Yeah, no one yeah. watches SAPC, uh, man. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Guys, you'll cut that. <laughs> <laughs> you'll, you'll cut that. Um, now, um, yeah. you know, I, I, I understand where I am. Uh, so this this the story came out um, in that show, mm. and uh, there's this lady, old lady, seventy eight years old. Mm. She was staying in a under the mountain, mm -hmm. inaccessible, no road, nothing, uh, in an old rondovel uh, that has collapsed. The other side of the rondovel has collapsed. She had nothing. She couldn't walk. She was just lying um, in a sponge. 
and uh, when I saw that story, I took a decision that this is the change. When we talk about change, these are the things that we must urgently and effectively deal with. Hmm. Without delay, the following hmm. day we went to that uh, area. It's in Umsinga. It's between Umsinga. Umsinga is a rural area. In fact, when uh, President Mbegi uh, was uh, still a president, he identified Umsinga as the most rural municipality in the country. Wow. But it has hmm. been changed now altogether. Hmm. There is a great deal of change. Uh, we went there, we found that lady, and the situation was bad. Believe you me, I cried tears there. I cried tears because I don't think amongst us there is anyone who'd want to see his or her parent uh, being in such a situation. So we took a decision that uh, we are going to find a way of helping her to build her house. At least she must have a house. Government must provide her with something. But well, the government of the people by the people for the people. So we must be about the people. Mm. And then I took it. In fact, the challenge there was that it's underneath the mountain, but up in the mountain, uh, just under the mountain. There is no road. There is a river. We can't take the material into the site. We ask Gogo, uh, Gogo, can you just move? Can we get you a site at least where we can access um, that site and mm -hmm. build your house? She refused. She said, no, no, no. I want to die here. Mm -hmm. My husband's grave is here wow. and I don't want to move. Wow. And then as a, as, a, as, a, as, a, as a child or as a son of that uh, old lady, what will you do? Mm. And then you have to think. There shouldn't be anything that stops us to do anything in this country. Mm -hmm. In the 21st century, mm -hmm. we must find ways and means. Mm -hmm. And then I said, no, 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 I'm not going to move this old uh, lady. Mm -hmm. I'm, an, I'm, I'm an executive authority in the department. It means I must take decisions mm -hmm. uh, in one way or the other. What we did um, is unconventional there. Mm -hmm. We took donkeys. We <laughs> went back to the old era. We took donkeys, we loaded material, took the material up the mountain, we built Gogo a, a, a temporal structure which can last for 10 years within seven days. Wow. She had, we call it temporal structures, but it's not temporal per se. Mm. It's, it's, we call it TRUs. It's the term we use uh, in, in, in human settlements. Mm. But we managed to get Gogo that house. And we are building, Gogo has been built a house, uh, I believe now, because I had to leave the, mm. the department. Mm. But Gogo was safe. Gogo had everything. It was a... A, a big three-bedroom uh, structure, solid, can last for 10 years. That's and insane. That, mm. that's, that's the change we wanted. Mm. Donkeys helped. Yeah. <laughs> Donkeys helped. I also heard that um, uh, in 2014, if I'm not mistaken, you correct me if I'm wrong, um, you refused to get medical aid because you said you wanted... Uh, uh, um, what did he say, JJ? Yeah, so you cancelled your medical aid because you wanted to... You're a policymaker in yes. government. So you wanted to see the system works. Yes. No, that's very true. So even your family is not a medical aid? My family since 2014, ah. I'm a medical aid. Wow. No um, medical aid? Nobody. Doesn't, doesn't government subsidize? Government does. Subsidize. So you refuse that? What happened when I went to parliament, we call it, it's the legislature. We call it yeah. legislature in, at a provincial level. When I went yeah. to the legislature as the member of provincial legislature in, in KZN, you know, I took a decision that... Uh, being a policymaker, because once you become a member of provincial legislature, mm. we are a policymaker. It's us who make policies. It's us who monitors departments, how they work. Department of Health is part of the, our work. If Department of Health doesn't work, it's our responsibility to make it work. So if myself, myself, I'm going to have a medical aid, mm. and then still I have the responsibility to play oversight over the Department of, of Health, then what is my responsibility? Mm. I'm going to the private sector hospitals and leave the public sector hospitals where our people are going. What am I saying to our people? Mm. What becomes mm. my responsibility? Up until today, I've left uh, 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 legislature. I'm in the presidency. They subsidize medical aid, but I didn't take medical aid. In fact, legislature or parliament, we do have a specialized uh, medical aid that is just is there for member, members of parliament. I didn't take it. I go to a public a public hospital in Nengu. I go to a clinic in a village, literally. Wow. My children, everyone. And how's that experience though? That experience, to be honest with you, I'm not buying your face. Our public uh, hospitals have improved. Uh -uh. Believe you me, they have improved. Go to any public hospital today, even here in Gauteng. Go to uh, Chris Rani Barakwanath Hospital. But Jomo, the stories um, we hear. No, 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 no. I know there are stories that are there. But stories doesn't mean nothing has been done there. Stories doesn't mean nothing has changed. A lot, if you go to public hospitals, compare them with private hospitals, the machines and everything that is in public hospitals and private hospitals, mm. they are incomparable, believe you me. We've got the better machines and the best machines that we have 
uh, uh, brought to our public hospitals. I, you know, you will find queues, obviously. Mm. Remember, it's public, it's free. Mm. Everyone goes there. Mm. Private is private. It will be the few of you who are rich, by the way. You guys have got money to go to private. And those poor people don't have money. And what happens is that you'll have a number of them. Choose will be there. Don't expect that they won't be Jews. It's not a private hospital. Mm. When people with money like yourselves and others... Will Aye, go, don't, 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 don't call me, Chief. Hey. <laughs> me, I drink, I drink Mshuzu for everything. <laughs> Headache. Mshuzu. Cold. No, no, you don't look like someone with money. I'm <laughs> In fact, everyone who's here. Think of my husband. <laughs> the you, the you. Yeah, it's, it's not literal. Yes, yes, yes. No, we yes. get you. We get you. Hundred yeah. percent. Yeah. Yes. So yeah. don't expect public hospitals. When you go to a public hospital, you won't find a queue. Mm. Where are the people from Soweto going to go? Where are the people from other places? Private hospital is private. But that's so profound. Don't you think there'd be a, a faster change if, let's say, for example, I don't know, a legislature was yeah. implemented that all MECs mustn't have private uh, hospital, what, what, there must be like you and good public. government workers must yeah. also rely yeah. on yeah. government hospitals. Yeah, yeah. Like, don't you think that be the rule? I, yeah. I, I like the idea. Yeah, and exactly because you work in the presidents, you've got the presidents here. Yeah. I like the idea. Yeah. Uh, I like that. It's, it's correct. If we work for government, Personally, if everyone who works for government uh, can be given a mandate that all of us, we use public um, services, mm. all services that we need, mm. whether yeah. it's hospitals, whether it's whatever, mm. we Private don't go schools. to, because we are the ones who are servicing yes. uh, the people. Mm. If we've got an alternative, then we're not going to give our all to government mm. uh, 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 um, uh, uh, systems. Uh, systems. Mm. The system must work and be functional. Mm. If the system doesn't function, it's because of us. Yeah. The system is there, it needs us to make it function. But if we've got an, an alternative, then the system won't function. Yes. Well, we all know ideally that won't work, but in an ideal world, that, that would be great. Yeah. Be but great. let's guess what? President Ramaphosa has brought in NHI. Hmm. We have brought in NHI because we are equalizing the ground. We are leveling the ground. Wow. Okay. No one in please, South Africa... Please step back. What does that mean, President has brought NHI? What does that mean? Please explain. It's the National Health Insurance. Okay. National Health Insurance. Uh, we are bringing in a new system as the ANC. It's an ANC policy where we took a decision that health must be equal to everyone who lives in South Africa. Wow. No one must have better access to better health or anywhere. We are not going to have anyone now going to private hospitals and getting better access or getting better services. Services are going to be the same, but we must up the game in public hospitals. Mm -hmm. We must make sure that we bring in the staff that is capable, enough uh, nurses, enough doctors, but also the infrastructure that is in our hospitals mm -hmm. must be the infrastructure that is going to provide all of you mm -hmm. the service that you need. Mm -hmm. So that, uh, that the bill has been signed. Uh, it's in the president's desk. He will be signing it at any given uh, moment. Even tomorrow he can sign it mm -hmm. because we are, going, we are going to be implementing it. It's now passed. Everything is just ready to go. So we are saying in South Africa, we are not going to have someone who lives in Engutu or anywhere in Venda. Uh, then have someone who lives in Johannesburg, somewhere in Randberg or somewhere, <clears throat> wherever, in, in, in Cape Town, <laughs> uh, going to a better hospital, and then someone in Venda, Sisheho, mm. then goes to a hospital that is, you know, dilapidated, yeah. um, hospital that is dysfunctional. So all of us who are going to access equal health because we care about our people. We care about the health status of our people. By the way, it's what is being implemented in, in, in Great Britain. Mm. They've got the same system. Mm. And we're implementing it. NHI, in I've heard that. Yeah. I've heard in, yeah. in we're UK. implementing it in South Africa. Now. Man, I just thought of an idea while you're talking about bills, right? Mm. Wouldn't it be dope to have a podcast where we just talk about these bills? Because these bills are always being passed, but we never know. We don't know. And we don't read. Oh, you know, yeah. we don't read. Yeah. Yeah. But if we had a podcast every week yeah. that just uh, focused on a yeah. bill. Because yeah. I know there's another bill that passed now about Muslim marriage and something. Yeah. There's a bill that's been discussed for actors and yeah, stuff. Yeah, like, yes. we don't have the information. Yeah. Yes. Mac, you are correct. Mm. Your podcast, this podcast, I must tell you, it's massive. Uh, I'm not buying your face. It's massive. Yeah. And quite I've got enough. no face to buy. I'm broke. I <laughs> say, yeah. <laughs> when I buy it, I'll make it better. When I buy please, it, I'll make it please. better. <laughs> so, but what we are saying yeah. is that such platforms, this platform, can help our people to be more educated about the functionality. How, how, how do the bills work? Like, where do we go to find out information about the bill? Parliament. 
bills are passed in parliament. They start in parliament. And then they go to you. They go to the communities. How? Any bill. When we've got a bill that we are initiating in parliament, that bill has to go via consultation process. Consultation process means it must via the people on the ground. We identify areas. We can't go to everyone. Yes. That's the reality. We'll go to some districts, three districts in Limpopo, yes. three districts in Gauteng, two districts in Western Cape, all over the country and identify certain municipalities and certain wards. And, you know, we'll go there and consult with the people. But we make it as broad as possible, as broad as possible. And then we'll table the bill to the, the, the proposal, the proposed bill. Yes, yes. This is what we want to bring. This is what we are thinking. This is what we are going to do. This is what we think it's going to do for our people. And then you engage as the society. You okay. engage the parliament. The parliament goes to you. Gotcha. We take the parliament to the people. And it, they engage with you. Uh, the outcomes of those engagements, whether people want the bill or they don't want the bill, it's up to them. When the NHI went through that process mm. and then people of South Africa said they want NHI, there were people who were opposing it, literally opposing it. But ma the majority of our people said they want NHI. The outcomes of the consultation process were very clear. Consultation process also is online. Via online uh, uh, process. But you see, I think we're not the, aware the of this, is, man. The podcast as well. It's such things that we must consider. Yeah, we're man. in the 21st century and many people are watching such. Mm. And um, young people, in fact, uh, because we need to get into the minds of our young people. Yeah, because the, the, the way I see it, I mean, just a simple podcast mm. where, you know, someone who from, from exactly. the government, whatever, exactly. just comes and explains and gives us information mm. of what this bill is and what it entails and what it means for you as a citizen. You're quite correct. Because right now, I didn't know that. You nailed it. I you didn't know that. Believe bill. me. Mm. Believe me. It's a good proposal. Mm. Uh, I'm not saying anything, yeah. but it's a good proposal. <laughs> yeah. I must be honest. Because but anyway. it's part of communicating yeah. to, with, the, with our people. That's the most important thing. But Mr. Sibia, we want to thank you so much for coming through. We heard it wasn't easy for you. <laughs> Since... I don't know how, how I manage. <laughs> I still don't know how I manage to break myself. Because you are the special advisory to the president. Yeah. So you meet the president, you talk to him, you advise him. So you are the closest we're going to get to the president because we know he's not going to come. Yeah, hey, we've, hey, given goes up. we've given up. So every question we have for our president yeah, that we are to today. We're asking them today. Yeah. Asking them today. <laughs> this is the closest we're going to get. <laughs> Pada, Pada, it's coming. <laughs> <laughs> Forgive us if we start calling you Ramaphos. <laughs> it's okay. I'm fine with that. Uh, when you got the I, call I, and, you, and you told the, the, the cabinet or your president, what, what was the reception? What did they say? <laughs> I must be honest. Yeah, yeah. You guys, your reputation. Yeah. Your reputation. Your reputation. <laughs> you've put people under the bus. You've, <laughs> you've done quite a lot. It's people. <laughs> people not they were honest. like, don't go. <laughs> Trust clear. Yeah. Don't go there. <laughs> this is going to be the end of you. <laughs> <laughs> no, man, we're glad you came. Um, I'm happy I'm here. Can you, can you describe what it means to be a special advisory to the president? Okay, thank you. Um, my role in the main, I play the interface role uh, between the president and uh, different stakeholders, different structures inside government and outside government. Uh, the sole purpose of this is to make sure that they seamless service deliver and we're able to do uh, what our people in the country are expecting us to do. Mm. I work with the president very closely, we're a team. Uh, of advisors, but the most important thing is to make sure that the president get to understand what is happening and uh, I bring uh, into his attention um, whatever that is brought by our people. You meet him every day? Not necessarily every okay. day. What happens uh, on that one, uh, Mac, is that um, we've got formal, uh, formalized uh, meetings that are there that are scheduled uh, as advisors where we meet with the president and we meet and we give him what we have. And also, he's a very curious man. By the way, President is a very, if I was a 2000, I was going to say he's a cool dad. <laughs> uh, the President, um, yeah. right, if I yeah. can tell you, you yeah. know, um, I'm just reminded of something just to, yeah. to, 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 to no problem. digress. Yes, yes, yes. <clears throat> One day I was calling him, uh, he was uh, in his convoy, and then he started sneezing. And then I'm saying, hey, President, you've got a flu. Uh, get better. Please try and, 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 and get medication. He said, no, Jomo. You're not going to die. So it's, it's a human being. Yeah, Literally, yeah, it's a human wow. being. We don't meet with him every day. 
I don't and the aircon will mess you up, eh? Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. So um we 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 Is it is this aircon different? Like was it the same? <laughs> It's, it's, it's a heat icon that you have in your car. It's the one that you have in your car. No, the one that you have in your car. It's exactly that icon. <laughs> so you'll, you'll know, icon affects uh, all of us differently. Mm. So yeah, I'm, I'm just saying, he's such a man, but he's a man who really cares about South Africans. Mm. He cares about the change that uh, as the ANC government needs to bring. But also the work that has been done, we can't ignore that a lot has been done. But he cares much about what needs to be done. What, what does his day look like? Like when he wakes up, what does he do? Like, <clears throat> To be honest with you, I still ask myself, how does he manage it? Wow. The man is busy. Mm. The man is busy. The man is busy from 4 a.m. in the morning until... Late at night. President will call you at one o'clock in the morning. He will call you at 12 o'clock at night. He will call you at, at, at three o'clock in the morning. Um, remember, he has to interact with other heads of state in different countries, different time zones. Oh, yeah. yeah, but also the work within the country is quite a lot. Yes. He is looking forward to changing uh, the fortunes of the country. We are having serious challenges. That he has proper plans to try and change the fortunes of the country. A lot of things, have, as I've said, we've done quite a lot. But also, there's quite a lot that went wrong that needs to be corrected. No, no, and, no we get that. I yeah. just want to know, like, when he wakes up, is he having coffee? Mm. Yes. Is he watching uh, he, Netflix? He, 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 mm. he, he, because you know why Mac is walks. Asked. You know why Mac is taking him. Because we don't know anything about, about the, president. the president. Okay. Yeah. You know, the well, president is like your father. Okay. Literally like your father, but a hardworking father. I believe your fathers do work hard as well. Mm. Our fathers, all of us, I know they work hard. Mm. Um, and us as fathers, we do work hard. Mm. All of us. Work hard. Yes, yeah. yeah. If you're a father, you know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So yeah, there's no time off. No, yeah. there's no time off. That's a reality. So mm. president doesn't have time off as long as the country is still in a situation that is in. So he wakes up in the morning. One thing that he likes is mm. to take a walk. He walk around mm. where he stays. He stays. Uh, I've walked with mind. him. He clears his mind. Okay. When he walks, he loves interacting with people. One thing about him, he loves interacting with people. He will walk with you. You will take two hours to walk seven kilometers. Oh. Two hours because he interacts almost with everyone. He Even the mama people, who said... He will him. find people digging a trench somewhere. He will go and stop there. What are you doing there? Oh. What are you... He's a very inquisitive man. Very curious. Mm. President is very inquisitive. He will ask you, Hundred questions. When you come to present to him, you must know your story. Wow. When you come to present to him, you must be prepared that he can reject you or he can give you more support on what is in your mind Beautiful. or what you were thinking. Is 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 clued up about everything. I must be honest with you. But again, mathematically, I can tell you he's sharp. That's where I will tell you. Mathematically, he's sharp. When it comes to the game of numbers, when it comes to but he's a very smart uh, man. He has been around. He has seen it all. But he, he, he is a calm man. Another thing about him. I call him one of the most calm men I've met. Mm. Uh, very calm. President Ramaphosa will never shout at you. Mm. President Ramaphosa will never be angry in front of you. But it doesn't mean that he's not happy. He does get unhappy at times. But he will never show you. Oh, yeah, we uh, saw. Did you find his iPad, by the way? <laughs> 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 story of the iPad. So, but all I'm saying is a, a very focused man. He mm. never get to be focusing on side shows. Mm. I won't mention it. Yes. But you'll see that he focuses on what is in front of him. I call him the man who focuses on the task at hand. Yeah. He focuses in a task. When he's got a task, that's where he focuses on. He doesn't, you can say anything, insult him, call him names, call him whatever. He never loses focus. But he's a very calm Obsessed he, man with the, the change. Is he on social media? Does he see what people are saying? Yes, he does. He's on social media. On, on WhatsApp. Does, does he run his account? He's, he, he he's what? No way. What's his account? What's his name? No, I'm he's not going to account. He's going to burn his account. He's going to burn his account. Now we know. Yeah. Now president know. is not a man of course. <laughs> <laughs> president, president is not a spook guy. Yeah. Oh, he's gonna, he's, but he's gonna better account. No, 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 no. Where he's saying, oh, he, my God, you know, cat obviously, cat. we mm. as advisors, mm. we share everything. Of course. With him. Yeah. Literally, we share everything with him. Yeah. And he loves no, to know what's happening in the country. So he loves he, knowing what what's happening. What does he type Tyson? Like, like well, what, what, what does he search for? What does yeah. he Yeah. No, <laughs> I can't tell you now. <laughs> he searches about everything. Friends, you know, he's a president. Yes. He must know everything. Yeah. So he will search everything that 
he wow. think he needs to. Yeah. Yeah. So that's does, crazy. Does he that is who, on social media. Does he know who Chris Excel is? <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> He's the CIC of he Black knows. Twitter. Yeah. He knows everything. Mm. Tosian knows everything. Wow. Believe you me. Tosian will surprise mm. you. Yo, so he knows literally everything. Would you um, like to meet, to meet us? He will. Definitely he will. He will. Wow. He wants to meet everyone. Ah, he wants to meet ah, everyone. So being like, honest. So what does he think of the podcast? Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. We're not here for that. We're not here for that. <laughs> no. Um, he would love to meet you. President wants to meet everyone. Yeah, and you'll uh-huh. find him very interesting. We'd love to meet uh, him. He's a Soweto man. Uh, mm. Vendor man. Vendor man, yes, mm. obviously. Vendor man. Very proud of his uh, yeah. Vendor um, uh, background, but a South African. One thing President hates is tribalism. Mm. Oh, he's yeah, a South yeah, African yeah. man. Oh, yeah. Yes, he's uh, a South African man. Back to you, right? Cool. So your job is to advise him. Yes. Now, are you there as a puppet to just show him what's happening, but he doesn't take your advice, or does he really, really listen to what you have to say? Mm. I'm not a puppet. Mm. I can never be a puppet. My character refuses. Doesn't allow you. Yeah, yeah. It mm. refuses me to be a puppet of anyone. Mm. I respect the president. Yeah. Mm. I dearly respect the president. He's the, I serve the president. So he listens to you? Um, president listens to everyone. Mm. Why team? of advisors, but also president works with the DG. He works with the ministers. So he's got quite a lot of people who can come and say, and bring advices to him, but also say things. Yeah. Can you think of an example of the last time you were in a meeting with him, you advised him and he actually took your advice? <laughs> and, and, and implemented it. Yeah, and implemented it. It takes, you know what happens? President takes the advices from all of us as a team. Yeah. It's a teamwork. Mm. It's not just your work. Like. Mm. I think I'll be... Yeah, even, if, 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 even as a team. Even as a yeah. team. Yeah, he does take our advice. When was an the, example. Give us an example. One, just one. <laughs> mm-hmm. um, I'm very cautious of that. Yeah, yeah. Um, all I can tell you is that president do take our advices. Okay. Quite a lot of our advices. Yeah. We get... But at the end of the day, we are advisors. He's the president. Mm. He takes what he thinks. He makes the problem. final decision. Yes. Uh, ours is to advise. It's not mm. to force him to take our advices. So uh, I'm in your shoes, right? Um, I'm supposed to give the president the best advice. Then a story like Para Para Gate drops. Mm. Where are you at that time? What's going through your head? What advice do you give him? When Pala Pala came in, I was not in the presidency. Okay. But okay. I, was, I was still the MEC. Okay. Uh, he was my president. Yes, uh, yes, yes. yes. Yes, Palapala came in. It has been dealt with. It's history now. Palapala is history now. Mm. Uh, it's a reality. Institutions have dealt with Palapala. Yeah, but what, yeah. Do you, what is your advice as an advisory? Like, let's say mm. it drop now. What would you advise? What would you say? <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, you need to be cautious about how you advise the president. You don't want to throw your president under the bus. Your advices must be well calculated. Your, they must be informed. But also, you don't just advise in anything. President will ask you to advise him at times. At times, you advise based on what you see. Oh. But also, you tread very carefully on how you deal with um, the, the way you advise the president. You don't just wake up because, because you see a story, and then you take a, a phone or you say, I want to meet you, president, because there is pala pala whatsoever. Mm. President also can think. He's oh. a man who can think. He's capable of doing things for himself. So you as a takeaway, you're the MEC, yeah. you're part of ANC, you know, um, you're doing amazing work. You as a person, as Jomo Sibia, the guy who's advocating for change. Yeah. When you see the Para Para Gates st- uh, story, w- what's going through your head? W- what are you thinking about? <laughs> as Jomo. <laughs> Take that away man, the, the, the government. When you, had, what, you know, you want to ask me what, what came into my head. It was that money. <laughs> <laughs> It's a lot. It's a lot. It was that, I didn't even know how much it is. Yeah. I went to the calculator. And then when I went to the calculator, so how much? It was a lot of uh, yeah. dollars. Yeah. And then I said, no ways. No one can keep so much money. Yeah. Uh, and then they reduced the amount of the money. Mm. And then I said, no, no, no. This one is manageable. <laughs> yeah. Maybe if it was me, yeah. I can be fine. <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and I said, hey, president didn't, you know, um, I hope, uh, you know, whatever that happens, yeah. honestly speaking, because I don't want to get into it. Of course, It's of a course. story that has been dealt with. Yes, it has yes. been well managed, but uh, I'm glad uh, he managed it very well. And he has been proven that he's not a crook. President is not a crook. Mm. Um, the, 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 instu- the local institutions, yeah. uh, whether you talk about uh, public protector, you talk about uh, SARS or whatever, all of them have dealt with the matter. So he's not a crook. Mm. Uh, things happen. Mm. Things happen. And yeah. well, 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 we had uh, advocate Busisiwe. Nkweban. 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 She yeah. had different things to say. Yeah, yeah. and 
he was not uh, the private public protector by then, so his uh, views don't matter. Mm. The, you know, anyone, it, it, it was like anyone in the street uh, could say anything. But it doesn't change the truth, though. Sorry, yeah, the truth doesn't sh- change. Mm. Mm. And the truth depends. It depends mm. on which side are you at. Mm. You can believe whatever that is being said and say it's the truth. But don't you think when you have that much power, you can t- twist and conform the truth? Do you get Manipulate. what I'm trying to say? Yeah. Manipulate yeah. Yeah. the yeah. truth. I get you. I get you. He is not an author- authoritarian. Mm. Ramaphosa is a Democrat. That's why he always do things openly and he consults in everything that he does openly. Mm. Literally even in things that he is not supposed to consult. He consults. Mm. He, he believes in democracy. So he's a man who hates anything that has to do with corruption mm. and twisting things. He's a very front, straight and forward man. He's, he, what you see is what you get. Mm. So he will never do that. And but, I know he didn't do that. By the way, do you work for the government or you work for ANC currently? Like what's... I work for government. You work for government. Yeah, I'm employed by the presidency. The presidency. Yeah, his department. So you got nothing to do with the ANC? I'm a leader of the ANC in Guazul Natal. I'm a provincial executive committee oh. member of the ANC in Guazul Natal. Okay. So the the the, the premier right now, the lady yeah. who's running, she's under you. We lead together. She's part of the, our collective. She's also in the ANC uh, oh. executive committee. I don't what know. That. Did you know that? Yeah, I did. Oh, that's very interesting, though. And well, what do you think about her leadership? Because KZN, there's a lot happening in KZN yeah. at the moment. Yeah, we are such a colorful province. <laughs> uh, you know, one thing that we must say: mm. women are power. Okay. Women are power. Uh, she's doing a great job. Uh, she's been doing very well and we are very happy with the work. As you have said, KZN is a very um, dynamic province. Yeah. But one thing I can tell you, it has given us, uh, it was it was groundbreaking because it was for the first time in KZN to have a female uh, premier. Mm. And she has proven us right that uh, as the ANC, when we took a resolution that um, we must have a 50 plus one representative of women in the ANC and in parliament, mm. and you can see that women are power. And that's why I see some even here. Yeah, because, yeah, yeah. No, we, they, they run the show. This, yeah, they uh, are power. Uh, I come from a, a, a perspective where my mother, I, I come from a, a space where my mother was a real power. Mm. My mother, I still call her my God. Uh, she's wow. late. Uh, she passed on in 2020. So I, I believe in women power and mm. women leadership. Mm. I've seen it where I'm staying in rural areas. You know, you'll have uh, households that are led by women. Even if a man is there, uh, you'll find a man not working uh, a door will get loose, you know, mm, mm, just you need mm, a nail to mm, fix the door. Mm. The man is there, will do nothing. That woman will stand up and go and fix the door. Mm. That's how powerful women are. Mm. And I'm making this uh, simple yes. example because we tend to want to get too deep while we must take simple things. Women run the show in our families. You know. Do you think uh, women can run the country? Yes, they can. Nah. Definitely. Mm-hmm. I, I, I agree, the man. Mm-hmm. Yes, they, they, they can run the country. And obviously, they've shown uh, that they can run the country. You look at some departments al- al- already in, under ANC government. They have no egos. Definitely. Mm-hmm. They, they are caring and loving. Mm-hmm. But even men, man, ma- we must stop egos. We must ne- stop having egos. Mm-hmm. This uh, masculinity that we always display, it's unnecessary. It's oh, no, unnecessary. You know, egos, uh, is, egos will make or break So, you, man. Comrade Nomusa has absolutely done very well. And we can see what she's doing. Her sopa that she was delivering just um, two days back, it was a proper, well-planned, uh, well-presented uh, uh, sopa with proper plans to help the province. You, you look like a guy who hasn't been influenced by ego. How did you get that right? <laughs> by ego. Uh, by ego, yeah. Because, yeah. I mean, he's the first guy from NC who hasn't come with bodyguards and blue lights and mm-hmm. G-wagons. I don't even know. What car is he driving? Just check there for me then. <laughs> I'm not driving any car. Oh, you see? You know what I mean? Do you get what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Very humble. No ego in sight. Mm. We, I, it's, I think it's... We, I come from humble beginnings. Got you. From humble. We had nothing at home. Literally, we had nothing. We were not poor. Uh, we were not poor, but... We, 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 we literally had nothing. We coming from the apartheid era, where you know <clears throat> I come from mud houses. I yeah. grew up in mud houses. Oh, yeah. uh, from time to time, well, now I'll borrow people's car and use them so that I can be seen. Like uh, you know, it's always nice to drive your friends' cars. <laughs> <laughs> there is nothing wrong in driving. Uh, your friends car. No, but class. honestly, yeah. um, I'm a f- I'm I'm. I'm not a fan of fleshy life. Let's go back to KZN. Yeah. Uh, MK Party. 
uh, what's going on there? How how are you guys feeling? You you just said you're not representing ANC, right? Yeah. So as the government, how are you guys feeling? No, 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 no. The country is continuing. There is the president, there is a ruling party. Mm. Our obsession is about change. It's about empowering our people. Our obsession is not about lies. It's not about misinforming people. It's not about focusing on digressions. Don't want to be, di you know, to, to be defocused. Mm. Um, I've, the MK that I know is the MK that is in the ANC. Mm. That's the MK, the Mkondo Siswe, mm. uh, Liberation uh, War Veterans Movement that we have. Mm. That's the Mkondo Siswe I'm prepared mm. to talk about. Mm. But the rest, people will see things come and go. Mm. This is the world. Things come and go. Mm. And new things will always interest people, but they not last. They so don't last. When, when that party started, you were, you were an advisory to the president at the time, right? When? When the MK yeah, party yeah, started. Yeah, yeah. What, what advice did you give him there? Or did you even have a discussion? We didn't even focus. You'll never hear him talking about them. Okay. You'll never. You've never heard him talking about them or him. Yes. You'll never. Yeah, yeah. You haven't heard him talking about him or them. He but never. I'd, I'd be There's scared, Because it looks like they're growing. We're yeah. not scared of anything, yeah. believe you me. Mm. We're not scared of anything. Um, you, you, you from KZN, uh, Ghost Lady, what's the temperature like there regarding the MK party? No, obviously it's gathering a lot of support. You know, and there's, there's, there's some specific things that you've said over, you know, the interview. Like, for instance, just going back to now to the interview, um, you uh, mentioned, because I grew up in Marisbeck. Yeah. And um, when you mentioned about I Umsinga yeah. being, re being referred as the most poorest, yeah. you yeah. know, um, well, municipality, place, municipality. Yeah. Mm. And um, I remember my school, like, it was always that thing, you know, if you're looking raggedy or you're looking ashy or yeah. anything, it's like, that's what I'm seeing because yeah. of that no. reference. <laughs> <laughs> you know, so it was known yeah. as that space, you yeah. know. Yeah. But um, going forward with yeah. what is happening as well, another question I also want you to have um, is that there's a lot of criminal happening in municipalities, fighting for power, councils being shot. It's Killings very of politicians. Killings. Mm. Counselors. You know, counselors. It's yeah. very, it's, it's, it's things that are happening in case that how are you guys managing this and i want to start with um Singh. okay um Singh is a total different picture altogether now is it since 1994 mm. you go to um Singh, today it's they've got electricity okay they're getting water roads are much better way way much way better. better they've got proper schools they've got clinics almost in in, in half of the wards in um Singh, they've got new clinics mm. uh, quite a lot we've Government has invested more than 3 billion rands in Umsing, and it has changed the lives of the people. They are no longer Asian. Mm. When you go to Umsing, you will see that you can find <laughs> no, no, life there. You yeah. can live life in Umsing now. Yeah. And then <clears throat> the issue of uh, the killings in KZN, um, it's bothering all of us, but the province is stable. I think it's important to emphasize that. The province is stable. We are not a province that is, is not stable. But yes, there are these killings that are a killed some political leaders, yes. councillors. For power. Uh, the, 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 the law enforcement agencies are working hard, believe you me. They are working very hard to isolate such and arrest such people. One thing about KZN is that historically we are coming from the history of wars, mm. from the history of violence. Mm. You'll remember before 1994. Yes. So you. it won't be changed within... Uh, three decades, mm. uh, because you still have those people who are fighting during those wars. Mm. But what is important is for but us... We are old now. No, when a person who was uh, 18, 30 years later, oh. that person is 48. Oh, okay. No, her math is yeah. not that yeah. great. Yeah. That person is 48. So, <laughs> sorry. Yeah, I'm saying her math is not that great. Don't, don't mind her. <laughs> no, I thought it was old people. So, <laughs> no, 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 no. It was a mix. <laughs> It was, yes, there were old people. Some yeah. are not, uh, uh, they are no longer here. They are yeah, no longer okay. there anymore. Okay. We don't have them anymore. But they were young people who were still there. But again, we just need to work hard. We are working hard to change the province. The, there is a need for all of us to work hard in stabilizing and making sure that the province uh, stop all these killings because they are really messing everyone up. And we can't have such, uh, so many loss of life, so many losses of life, and we don't do anything. The law enforcement, Begitele is doing a great job. Mm. The commissioner in Wazul Natal, Mkwanazi, yeah. is doing a wonderful job. We've arrested a number of people, even if just to showcase that uh, law, enf law enforcement agencies are doing well. You look at uh, the AKA, uh, AKA's uh, case. Yeah. Uh, all of us, we thought it's gone. Yeah, yeah. All of us, we thought it's gone. Yeah. And believe you me, it was just quiet. That's how strategic our police are now. We have arrested quite a number. In fact, even the NIU is doing a great job. Uh, when you fire at them, the police, they fire back at you. Do you guys torture people? 
<laughs> like, them in the river. In the river. <laughs> no, I don't know those stories. I'm a good boy. I'm a good rural man. I'm a good rural man. I come from rural areas. Mine, mine is about uh, good intentions. Did you, uh, JJ was telling us in the previous episode, like what they used to do during. Please tell him how yeah. crazy the interrogation no, was. I, I was telling Omega oh uh, one of the stories my uncle told me was that. Back in the days, the cops would arrest them, mm. put a sack on them, and then put a cat inside, yes. and then throw them in the it river happened. or put water. During it, apartheid uh, yeah. days, it happened. That's and crazy. it's very, it's, 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 it's crazy that you've got people today who say it was better during apartheid. Mm. You know, let me tell you something. Some of us who are coming from rural areas, we grew up without fathers. Our fathers were here in Johannesburg. Mm. They will leave our mothers and grandmothers with us. Mm. They will come back after three, six months. How would you feel not to see your father for three to six months? And then you don't see your father. And what kind of a woman will stay? Brother, what step sister? In Jobe. Anything can happen. And what kind of a woman will stay without the husband for six months? Yeah. And what kind of a man will stay in Johannesburg without a, a, a wife? Because they were staying in hostels and hostels were not allowing women to come. Yeah. Mm. And then their father will come back after six months and they've got nothing. They were earning peanuts. They were not doctors, engineers or whatever. Mm. Yeah. They were sweeping floors. They were making mm, tea mm, for mm, buses mm, and everything. Garden boys. And if they were garden boys. Mm. And people will tell you that it was better. Under Never. Our Some of us will tell you that we grew up without fathers. And there is no family that will be proper without a father. No. Without a, another partner. Mm. But a number of people in KZN, and Limpopo or wherever, many children grew up without their fathers. And they only knew their fathers as strangers. They will come during Easter holidays and, 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 that's and, and, Christmas. and Christmas. And that's it. And then you expect us to be normal. And then you expect 30 years to be okay, to be enough, yeah. to change everything. It's impossible. We must be realistic. I was asking a question that if our fathers, if you say apartheid government was better, why our fathers didn't build us houses? Why this government is building us houses? Mm. What kind of a man will go and work in Johannesburg and earn a lot of money and come back and don't build his or her children um, a, home. a home? And they didn't even know all the houses that they will find at home. Mother, our mothers and grandmothers, they will go and make uh, bricks with mud, with clay. Yeah, you know those sure. bricks? Yeah. They will cut grass. They will cut wood. They will build houses. And the father will come home uh, during Easter or in December. They will see three rounds of verses that they don't even know who built them. That's crazy. And then people say it was okay. But, uh, Mr. Zbi, I want to ask you. I just want to take you a bit, a, 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 a back a bit. You spoke about what have we done or what can we do. Yeah. You spoke about not having anything in your village. When you were the MEC in KZN, what did you do in your village? Is your village a better place now? Are there schools? Are there roads? Are there, are there hospitals? What did you do when you were the MEC? Are you looking for a tender, Jeev? <laughs> <laughs> He's looking for a tender like... in the wrong place. In the wrong place. Let me tell you, I wish yeah. I can start back yeah. and tell you, in my village, yeah. there was one primary school when I was growing up. Yeah. There was no high school in my village. Yeah. There was literally no high school. Uh, there was no clinic. We had no access roads. No access roads, nothing. Yeah. We had no water. Mm. We, had, uh, no, we had no electricity. We had no one. By 1994, we had no one with a degree. The whole no village. one with a degree. The whole village. Not oh, only so. my village. Not on, not the entire Ngutu, where I'm coming from. Mm. Even in Ngutu, there were very few. The mm. entire Ngutu. Mm. Ngutu is a municipality with about 400,000 people. Yes, but yes. there were very few people with degrees. Got you. So today, in my own ward, I'm talking about the ward now, not village, just in a ward, we've got three doctors, wow. all of them by ANC. Mm. One from Cuba, two got bursaries from the Department of Health. Mm. Today, we've got more than 20 teachers, oh. qualified teachers with degrees. Mm. Today, we've got um, clinic, a clinic. We've got scholar transport. Learners in my village, they are transported by government. Wow. They get buses. Uh, the high school, uh, in fact, we've got now about six high schools. For real? We mm -hmm. had nothing. I'm telling you the change that has happened. That's crazy. Let me tell you what I've done. Mm. Because uh, if you are given a responsibility, you must always uh, I, I, I'm, look at home. What, what, you must go back at home and see what you can do at home. Of course. Yeah. Uh, if you don't do anything for the place you are coming from, it's a challenge. Mm. Um, when I, I was an MEC for only 17 months, I tried. Oh, it was for just, real? Yeah. Yes. Oh, wow. Just 17 months. Mm. Uh, we moved mountain, mountains. Mm. We moved mountains. Mm. We, what I did is that 
um, even if you go there today, uh, JJ and Mac, mm. you will see that it's still a place uh, that needs quite a lot of work. Yeah. Many people had mud houses. Many people had um, the, quite a lot of challenges. Yeah. But today, there is a project that is coming that I initiated uh, for two wards, one, two, and three, mm. when I was the MEC. There were no projects, housing projects that were there. Oh. I initiated that housing project, 3,000 houses. Wow. Almost everyone who needs a house in the two wards will have a house. Wow. What I've done already, there, there were families who needed, um, urgently who needed interventions. They needed houses urgently. They couldn't wait for the project. I managed hundreds of them. They are staying in those houses today. Mm -hmm. There's hundreds of them. More than 100, in fact. They are staying in those houses. Another 100 is being built. Mm. Those were emergency cases where I said these families can't wait. So we have changed their lives. Uh, they are staying in uh, houses with the verandas and everything, ceiling boards connected to the grid. They've got everything. That's what we have done mm. because I had to take care of our people. But again, people do get water from where I'm staying from. Mm. Uh, Within Beautiful, the yard, man. they do get water from mm. our household. Mm. They get water from our... That's what we, have, we are doing. Mm. Uh, we continue to do that. Uh, we, sh we are shaping the lives of, of young people. There is a project that is coming to build sports facility. Mm. There is a project that is coming as well, that is starting in the next two months. Uh, it's... it's I initiated when I was the MEC. Hey, man, we need this so, podcast. Because hey, where are we getting all this information? We, you hear yeah. what I'm saying? We're trying. We're trying. Uh, um, yeah. Let's go to the issues of the country now. All right. Uh, we want to know as young people, because elections are coming up May 29th, right? Yes. Yeah. Uh, we just need all the information we can get so we can make the right decision. Yes. Yeah. So I think it's important to speak about these issues. And when you answer, you are answering as the government, right? Yeah. And the solutions that the government are going to put into place. Yeah. Okay. Let's start with high unemployment. Yes, uh, that is our main challenge. In fact, for the past five years, the president has been working tirelessly to deal with the issue of high, un high unemployment. unemployment yeah. It's very high. It's, it's, it's ridiculously high. Uh, it's many factors that are causing our country to have uh, such an uh, unemployment rate. Um, what we are doing currently, we, they, 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 there are quite a number of solutions. You will see that uh, the president has introduced um, a, 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 some programs that uh, we have used and they've yielded results, like uh, the youth uh, intervention program that he has brought in that has been able to employ in 23 schools, uh, 23,000 schools, sorry, 23,000 schools where we've employed more than 1.1 million. Uh, young people to get opportunities because while unemployment uh, is there, the reality is that it's not going to be resolved in one day. One of the things that we are doing is that we have uh, introduced um, uh, uh, opportunities that uh, are in the private sector. We have registered uh, more than 2.5 million young people in the youth mobile. Uh, system where we direct a uh, private sector to get it, it, these are qualified young people then we've got this uh, database where private sector will go and tap in more than a million of them has been in fact more than 1.7 million of them has been able to get wow. opportunities mm. we we have recovered the economy it's better than pre-covid mm. okay. uh, era now but it's just that COVID messed us up. Mm. But we've got programs that the, the, the president is introducing that uh, will be able to help the country in, in, in dealing with employment. One of those, the most important thing to deal with unemployment, we need to grow the economy. Mm. If the economy doesn't grow, unemployment will continue to So run. what do you think about, uh, we had this lady from ANC, Ghost Lady, what's her name? Uh, Tasim Tasnim Tasnim, Tasnim. Tasnim. Uh, She was advocating for 24-hour... Uh, 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 yes, um, I heard her. Yeah. We will, some countries in the world are, are practicing it mm. and it's yielding results. Mm. Because an economy that is forever working, 100%. it will generate yeah. money. Yeah. Buy alcohol that... in the garage. <laughs> <laughs> it's not only yes. about that. No, even alcohol. <laughs> alcohol is a huge industry. We yes. can't learn. Yes. Alcohol is a huge yes. industry. Mm. In fact, it's generating. In fact, that's why we're getting a lot of texts. We always... Uh, yeah. Yeah. Push a lot of Alcohol and cigarettes. Yeah. Yeah. That's why we get a lot of checks. So mm. we, we, we can't be ashamed. It's yeah. a reality. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so an economy that will work 24 hours, it's an economy that will be driven, uh, you know, 360 days a year. Yes. And it will produce. Yeah. Because again, one thing that we need to start doing as South African, we must be a working country. 
So you like that idea? You like it? I like the idea. Nah. Nah. I like the idea. It will it will work. It, it will, will help work. us. Yeah. In fact, <clears throat> it will help us even to make sure that some of the social ills that we do get during the night mm, will, they will be dealt with. Will be, will be, because yeah. it will be the same as during the day. Yes. We won't have the night and the day. Yes. We will be working. Yes. So most It'll of the things up. are happening mm. at night. 100%. Yeah. So we will be able to cap such. Mm, mm. And then we'll have a country Not that all, is safer. But Not yeah, all. That's, yeah. a real, mm. that's a reality. Some of them will be kept. Mm. We'll have a country that is safer. We'll have a country that is able to give more. In fact, more people will be employed. 100%. Because yeah. right now we're working one shift. Mm. Seven night to four. shift, day shift. Yeah. And then few companies will have night shift and day shift. Mm. But many companies are just seven to four. And you can start Nine it in Joburg to see if it works and then we implement it into that. Yes, it can be yeah. piloted. Yeah, I always piloted, believe that yeah. we must pilot mm. uh, uh, whatever that we're introducing. Mm. We must pilot it first and see whether it's working or mm. not. Rather than just pushing it and then it doesn't work and then we are called names. Words. Mm. You know, I really like that, man. Really I, I like that idea yeah. when she yeah. mentioned it. Uh, load shedding. Hey, yes. the mm. big old load shedding. Yeah. Load shedding, it's one area that the president as well and all of us as uh, advisors and the entire system of government who are obsessed with. Mm. In fact, it's very disappointing that we had to go through load shedding. It's wrong. We can't yeah. deny it. It's wrong. We shouldn't have load shedding. But due to things that happened, uh, we're on a recovery. We're trying to change things. Corruption, as we have said earlier on, corruption is a sin. Uh, ESCOM was destroyed. Oh. ESCOM was looted. And a lot of change has been brought to ESCOM. How true is it that this was all man-made so people can make money? Say that again? How true was it that load shedding was man-made so no. people can make money? You know, <laughs> one another thing about South Africa, we believe in lies a lot. Yeah, yeah, that's what we're asking We, you, we you believe know? in manufactured yeah. stories mm, quite mm, a lot. Mm. People get manufactured. It, no, it's not true. It's not believe true. me, you know when you don't service a car, this is how president always put it, is that you've got a car the MG. This car, you bought it in January 2023. You don't service the car throughout the year. Yes. The entire 2023. You don't service the car up until now. You don't service the car 2024, 2025. That car will break down. Of the course. moment when it breaks down, every part of that car is, is gone. Yes. Even when you take it back to service, they will service this part and the other part will break down. Mm. They will service this part and the other part breaks down. So that's what happened with ESCOM. That's why we are so obsessed. Yeah, but with then the... there's, there's also guys who can fix this car and mm. make it fresh. That's what we're But doing. they don't want to because they need you to come back because that's how they make more money. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They can be such instances from the service providers. But not government. Oh. They, you can, you know, let, 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 let's be frank. You know the story. Yes. You've yes, got yes. trucks that were brought into ESCOM bringing coal. And those in those coals, we find that there were rocks. So that when those coal came into the in boilers or whatever, mm. then boilers will just shut down and you need oh, to I get you. I fix get them you. again. Okay, so you. you do have such people who are very dubious, mm. but who are not from government. Mm. We get services from uh, uh, the private sector and some other private service providers, and then some do have uh, wrong intentions. Mm. They want to continue uh, having ESCOM uh, being in the state, but a lot of work has been done. President will remember he brought in a uh, law enforcement agent. The hawks are involved. Mm. Intelligence is involved. And you can see now things have improved. If we can be honest, a lot of change has been done. Mm. But believe you me, a lot more is coming. But ESCOM needs to change and a lot. The, 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 energy, the energy action plan that was brought by the president last year has brought in a lot of change as well. Does he experience uh, load shedding? He does. No he does. way. I no. swear. Uh, he does. Doesn't he that does. put his life in no, danger? No, no. He does. He does experience load shedding. Wait. Let, I will tell you. At his house. Let, let me tell you, where yeah. does he experience? Because people think president only stays in his house. Yeah. President can come into a house and there's load shedding. Then he experiences load shedding. Uh, <laughs> yeah. it's a fact. So in no. his house, he's got but your let's be honest. Systems. Let's be honest. Yeah. Even amongst, not necessarily yourselves, guys. Yeah. Yeah. If you afford to get a backup system, you'll have a backup system. Let's yeah. not make it as if it's a sin yeah. and yeah. if it's wrong. Anyone can have a backup system. You can have solar panels. You can have generators. Mm. Uh, quite a number of people do have it. Not only the president. Mm. Obviously, the president will have it. Like in which country where you'll find the president not sitting in the <laughs> yeah. South Africans, we are just a different country. We expect things that don't happen in other countries to be done in our country. No, the, the, the expectation is if I'm sitting in the dark, yeah. right? Yeah. Is the president sitting in the dark? He well? understands it does, so well. Does he, let, let, let me tell you. Does, does, does he understand what I'm going through president at the moment? Is I'm, not worried, the I'm worried about my meetings. He's it's, unable it's, to reach it's, me yeah. in, in when 
there is load shedding. shedding. He yeah. knows. He will tell them that it president hates load shedding like you. We all hate it. Wow. Okay. He literally hates load. That's why he has put so much effort. Mm -hmm. He has made mm -hmm. sure that ESCOM, there were issues of procurement when it comes to ESCOM. Yeah. He has managed to deal with all those um, uh, uh, challenges that ESCOM had and made it easy for ESCOM to procure things that ESCOM parts that ESCOM needed to, uh, to procure mm. because he want load shedding to be over. Like what kind of a president will want to have load shedding? So what from, kind of a president from, would from, like? from the information you have, how long do you think we, we got to go until we get to that point that he wants to get at? Mm. I don't see it going... <laughs> I don't want to, yeah, yeah, to, to yeah. incriminate myself or say yeah. things. But believe me, very soon. Very, very soon. So we're talking in five fact. years, less than No, five. not a year. Not a year. It's less than a year. Under a year? Yes, under, under a, year. a year. I'm quite certain. Under a year. Wow. Under a year, I'm quite hey. certain. Yes, I'm quite certain. Can we invite you back? back. <laughs> bring me back. In December, bring yeah, me back no, here. No, no. In December, bring me back here and uh, tell me yeah. whether <laughs> do we still have load, have load shedding or not. Uh, it's, it's, it's the effort that has been put. Mm. The investments that have been put. By the way, even when it comes to renewables, green energy. Mm. Uh, we have put, uh, we have brought in about 2,700 megawatts of new energy that has uh, been brought in. Very soon, more uh, 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 megawatts will be brought into the system. And that is helping quite a lot. But again, we are uh, 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 putting more solar panels in different households. That is uh, it decreasing the oh, energy. Oh, the well. energy. So okay. there is quite a mix of things that we are doing mm. to make sure because we are obsessed. We want to deal with load shedding. We want our country to be bright. We want all of all of you to do your work properly. This podcast must continue without uh, uh, load shedding. We, we, we had Pulemabe once, and while we were recording, we had load shedding. <laughs> <laughs> it's one of those things that we must really, really get rid of. Uh, water shedding. Water shedding. Oh. Uh, South Africa is a country uh, with uh, a challenge of water. Our We are not a country with uh, much rain. Okay. We are challenged when it comes to rain. Okay. We are a, a bit of a dry country. Okay. But that doesn't mean mm. anything. Yeah. When we, 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 the president has committed himself. That's why he appointed Minister Nkun. I think you will see the project in Nandoni in, in, in Limpopo. That project has stalled for many years, but now it's moving. What's happening there? Uh, no, no, no. Right now, um, we have uh, managed to resuscitate it. A lot of wrong things happened there. A lot of money was lost there and uh, people will be dealt with. But there is a team now working. There is a contractor working. Uh, whether you talk about um, in KZN, when it comes to new dams that are building, we're building new dams. Water harvesting is important. Mm -hmm. What is important is to make sure that we harvest more water so that our people get water. But also the infrastructure. Our infrastructure is old. And it's not President Ramaphosa who just mm -hmm. came in and then the infrastructure got old. The infra quite a number of uh, cities that were having in towns were built many years ago. Yes. Seven, mm. 1970s, 1950s, mm. dating back to 40s and 30s. Mm. So they still have old infrastructure. We have put more money. We have invested in changing the, infra the, the water infrastructure in many towns and cities because we know the issue of water. If you don't have water, it's a challenge. Let me make an example. President was in Etegwin two weeks back on Friday. He met with business people, a business chamber in Etegwin, and then he committed that uh, he's going he's going to change the situation of Etegwin as he did with the with Tswane. What you saw in Tswane and when he came into Tswane and make sure that there is work that is being done. We haven't finished in Tswane, but in Etegwin as well, he has established a working group which I'm part of to deal with the issues of water. That working group, the moment it's it's it's, it's starting to work, we are going to establish another one here in Ekuleni, another one in Nelson Mandela Bay in Johannesburg. We are going to have this because his obsession with water and electricity. Without water and electricity, there is no country that can run. So there is quite a lot of work, but there is money that has been put as well mm. to make sure that we change the infrastructure, we harvest water, people do get water. And the, and the minister who's there is a man in charge. He's working. Day and night, he's working. You'll see it. The water crisis in the free state is terrible. I'm a free state boy. Mm. Free state, the water crisis is bad. Mm. It's mm. bad, 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 bad. Mm. Like there's mm. no water in Paris. You know, there's mm. no water mm. in certain mm. towns in the free mm. state. Mm. My hometown, Sasselberg, mm. For the first time ever, mm. there's mm. challenges with water. Mm. It's abnormal because mm. we've never had. What happens to areas like that? Is, I, are there priority areas for the president or everyone is important at the same time? All areas are prioritized. 
all areas. In fact, if you talk about Sasol Bank, you mm. know what Sasol Bank brings in, into the economy. Yeah. So you can't not prioritize it. But every area, even in rural areas, the, the, the challenge is that Sorry, in, ca- ca- a company like Sasol and Sasol Bank, sorry, Mac, mm. I, well, it, I mean, it's, it's partly owned by government, right? Mm. Isn't is yeah. it not? Mm. It, yeah, partly yeah. yes, no. <laughs> is, is there a way in which government can force Sasol just to fix things there? It shouldn't I, I, be a CSI I, I, I like your thing, idea. like a CSI thing when Sasol feels like donating. What is Sasol doing for our people? What are they doing for our people? That is yeah. the question Meg asked. Yeah. 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 What is private sector doing for our people? Yeah. Why are they not giving back to the people? Yeah. In many countries, you'll find that happening. Mm. As the country president is working so hard to collaborate with private sector right now, yeah. they, they are, we've got quite a, a number of projects where we have collaborated with private sector to yeah. make sure that we bring change. Where go- government um, is unable to reach, private sector must come in. Sasol, it's a good question. Mm. Sasol should be bringing back to those people, should be um, doing something. But yeah. it's our responsibility as government. I don't want to shift the blame. Yeah. We are working hard, even in free state. Mm. We, have, we have met with the premier as well, President has met with the premier. Mm. There are programs and projects that are coming to free state to deal with water challenges. Whether it's Paris, whether it's Sasolbeck, or wherever, it's Kronstadt, mm. all of them. We are prioritizing them. Water is, is you know, water is life. Mm. Water is life. No, I love this. Everything is coming, guys. Everything is coming. Mm. No, no, no. It's not it's coming. coming. It's not is coming. Let, <laughs> me, let me tell you. Let me tell you. I spoke about that. No, 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 no. Like no, we are not. We are not here to campaign. <laughs> we are here to tell you what is happening. Yeah. yeah. When I'm talking about the dam we are building, mm. it's not a dam that is coming. When I'm telling you about the project that is Netegwin right now for water, Ooh. it's the project that is in existence. Mm. It's not coming. Mm. When I talk about Tswane, mm. it's not coming. It's what already we are doing. Mm. We are not here to make promises. And we are here to tell you what we are doing and we want to bring change. Love it. Let's move on to 350 social grants. Do you think they're sufficient? It's not. It can never be sufficient. Mm. But it's the beginning. Okay. Uh, they call it Ramaphosa money, where I'm coming from. Mm. Um, 350 is the base. We are. The president is working hard, is, is looking forward to have the basic income grant in the country, where those who are not employed can be able to have this permanent grant up until they... You know how 350 helps our people? How? Quite a number of our people can't even go and look for the job because they don't have transport money, mm. because they can't catch a taxi. Where I'm coming from, you've got a person who has never even charged 100 friends in his hands. He's, I'm telling you the truth. Wow. He has never had the 100 friends. They started having 350 as the money that the first time they have money. Wow. And it, it does bring change. Believe me, where I'm coming from, and guys, what I'm saying, I wish one day you can just come. Yeah, yeah, no, say, definitely. Tomorrow, come Let's yeah. see this village we are talking about. Yeah, yeah. And people do get groceries. They use it. Let me tell you, quite a number of them, they get grants. Mm. You'll get a child grant. You'll get an um, old age grant, which is about above 2,000 rands. Mm. Child, child grant is above 500 rands. And then they put together all these, this, all these grants. And families do leave. Fam- we don't have families that go to sleep in South Africa anymore without, uh, uh, without food in the table. Believe me, ask yourself a question. What happened to Kwashiok? You remember Kwashiok? Mm-hmm. That disease. That disease. What? Yes. yes. What happened? This I might be pronouncing it uh, oh, yeah. incorrectly. Kwashiok. Remember? Mm-hmm. Um, Kwa yeah, it's Kwashiok. That's mm-hmm. what is being said. Mm-hmm. And what happened to it? It didn't disappear. It just didn't. It's because of the interventions that the ANC government but has done. Do you done. know that disease? No, I don't. Eh? Oh. It's 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 it, in fact it's a um, it's a disease that was killing bil- yeah malnutrition. Oh, it was yeah. killing young babies okay. when they were young. They will die. It's malnutrition. It's no longer there. Mm. It didn't just disappear. Those very skinny babies uh, yeah. with big yes, stomachs. Yes, yes, I see. Exactly. Yes, yes, yes. So it, it didn't ju- because we with the fly. <laughs> <laughs> that was the American ads oh. to feed the African <laughs> child. <laughs> yeah, but all I'm saying is that. Uh, 350, let's go back to 350. Mm. 350 has really, really even managed to help in reducing poverty in the country. The research says so. Go Mm. and check the research when it comes to 350. Uh, Not what I'm only saying. It has managed to help our people to come out of poverty. It it might be nothing. You know, when you earn 10,000 rands, 350 is nothing. Mm. But those people can't pick it anyway. What do you say when people say it's just a ploy for the NC to get more voters? But we didn't bring it. We didn't just uh, introduce 350 this year. We introduced 350, remember, during COVID. COVID. Mm. We introduced 350 during COVID because people were under serious strain. 
Remember, during COVID, many people were not working. Oh, many people lost their jobs. Children were not going to school. In a family where you were able to use a 2,000 rand grocery, I'm making an example. Mm. I know it's nothing. But when children are, uh, are, oh. are at home, seven children or four children mm. are at home, they eat three times a day, remember? You know them when they're at your place. Mm. They eat. You wish they can go back <laughs> to school. And at school, at least, we've got nutrition. They do eat at school. That's, that's, those are the interventions that has, have helped us to reduce poverty. But these interventions are not just a by the way. So, we so, sit and research and we see what interventions that we need to bring. So I, I, I see like why you're doing it and the, the idea behind it. But don't you think there's a better way in terms of like, um, instead of just giving me 350 mm. to fill up my stomach, right? Because then I'm now dependent on the ANC for the 350. It's not better, maybe, perhaps, I could be wrong, to rather take me to school so I can study and be able to make my own 350. Thank you, Matt. You hit the nail in the head. Yeah. And that's why it the hits the nest, the nest, nest fast issue. That's, that's why yeah. the ANC is taking people to school. Okay. That's why in South Africa, from grade R to grade 12, in many communities, in KZN, 80% of communities in KZN are no fee-paying schools. They don't pay a cent. Oh, wow. Literally, they don't pay a cent. Even if you go to Limbop, mm. you'll find that. Mm. And then on top of that, I'm talking about taking them to school. Mm. We're doing it. On top of that, we're giving them that three fifty. Okay. And then we are giving them nutrition. They eat in the morning now. Mm. They eat in the morning. There is an instant porridge that our kids, are, they eat. This is a school yeah. uh, feeding scheme. Feeding school. The, Free the school. food. Free food. Okay. Oh. We give them a nutritious meal that has been uh, recommended by nutritionists. Mm. They eat during lunch. Okay. So they eat twice a day. Wow. School. They go home, they are full. You don't find a situation where a child won't eat at home, mm. go to school, hungry, can't grasp anything yes, that is yes, being yes, taught. Yes. Today, they know even if I didn't eat at home, but at school I'll eat. Mm. What, what, ha and what then happens during beyond, school holidays? That, during school holidays, mm. I, that's where the challenge is. Uh, during COVID, you'll remember, when schools were closed, mm. we continued with the nutrition uh, in school with the feeding the, 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 the learners. Mm. Okay. But when schools are closed, obviously, the system can't be managed because teachers are not there mm. uh, and no one is there to mm. monitor. Mm. But remember, schools are open for almost 10 months. It means the bigger chunk of the year is, we're is, taking care of them. Yeah. But yeah. I want to take it further because taking them to school goes to universities. Mm. Mm. When we came in in 1994, there was TEFSA, which was about, um, it was about 110 million rands uh, of some kind of bursaries that were given to black students. Mm -hmm. And we had not even more than 200,000 black students in universities. Today, we've got more than a million. Yeah. And a number of them are benefiting from NSFAS. We are investing 48 billion rands every year on NSFAS. Oh. And NSFAS is providing food, money for food, money for uh, registration, tuition, money for transport, Money for residents. Yeah, I All think you need to do is to take your belt and go to school, but pass. Who, who was who, who did the next first thing here? Who was part of that? They should uh, Tibla. Yeah, yeah. Tibla, grab a mic and let us know how your experience was. Is what is he saying? Uh, yeah, yeah. Just speak on that mic. So this is our cameraman Tibla. Mm. So yes. um, we with the NS first issue. I, I can't lie. I went to school. You know, everything was fine, but not all of us. Mm. Some kids uh, got deregistered because mm. they were no, they were not uh, getting funding. Mm. Also, the issue of residences. Mm. Every year, students are, are being chased away mm. because they are able to like pay for their accommodation. Mm. And even this year, most of the kids, they didn't go back to school because mm. there's no NSFAS money. In fact, this let's, week... Let's, 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 let's go back. Thank you, thank you, Tibi. Yeah. Let's go back there. He's not saying that NSFAS doesn't help. Yeah. NSFAS might have challenges of not covering everyone. But again, I want us to delve deeper to that. Yeah. You've got people who have robbed NSFAS and he will know that. I'm not oh. saying it's you. Mm. You've got a number of students who have robbed. Uh, you know, like my child. I, I can afford to take my child to yeah. school. Mm. Yeah. But my child will bring in all the necessary documents that um, is coming from a different family. He's not my child. Yes. And uh, he must get NSFAS. Got you. He's not a deserving student. A, de a deserving student won't get NSFAS. Mm. It's us as the society who are sick. 
So you say there's a lot of foul play. There's there. a lot of not foul play. It's corruption because that's corruption. We must call it for what it is. That's corruption by the society. Mm. We must run, not run away from it. Because if it's done by government and we call it corruption, if society is doing wrong things, we must call it corruption. Gotcha. Because even parents do this. Mm. Parents who are affording. And then when it comes to the issue of document, some, there are the, the, um, conditions of getting in By the way, is, is he telling the truth? Have you heard of that? For real, it's like a real thing. Yeah. Yeah. Damn, that's, that's cold, man. Mm. It's, it's, it's a real, in fact, billions of rents mm. are being recovered right now. Billions, not just hundreds of millions, billions of rents are being recovered because of, because of many students who have defrauded NSFAS. And the deserving students don't benefit. When it comes to residents, the issue with residents is that, in fact, the president has committed in building more residents. You'll see in universities. Mm. We're building residents in many universities. They're coming. They're yeah. coming. We are building them. They are there. <laughs> some, are complete. Some, some have been completed. Mm. Some yeah. have been completed. You can go to University of KwaZulu Natal. You can go to University of Zululand. You can go to University of uh, uh, in, in Limpopo. Mm. Uh, we have built them. I'm not talking about those that are coming. Mm. But we'll continue building them. They will come. Mm. Obviously, they will come. They must continue coming because the population is growing. You mm. can't stop them coming. Mm. So what I'm saying is that but also, the, 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 some students, they need to perform. Uh, you need to perform as well to get NSFAS, to be funded. Mm. You must perform. Mm. Because we can't be funding you uh, for... Mediocrity. Exactly, mm. exactly. But I'm not saying there are no challenges. Yes, yes. I'm for student. I'm, I'm, I'm a former student leader. Mm. I know the challenges. Yeah. So we, 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 there are challenges that are there with NSFAS. But NSFAS, the doctors I'm talking about yeah. at home, they are coming from, wow. they've, they've been funded by the two, ne? The three. The come three, on. yes. Yeah. Three ah, doctors from three. nothing in one area. Yeah. You, yeah. Do Beautiful. you have a doctor in your area? Venda. Yeah. No, no, not Venda. I'm talking about the ward. In Patsima. Patsima. Yeah. Mm. In your ward. In, in your, your ward. Ward is a, it's a small community. In your ah, ward. We have the biggest podcaster, cancel? that's all. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> But but in mm. in in, in, in real in real, NSFAS has changed the num the lives of our people. Mm. NSFAS has really made mm. your, mm. this man mm. to be where he is today. Yeah. Yeah. And we thank NSFAS. I, I don't want to go far and of talk course. about doctors. I'm talking about a man inside. Uh, JJ, you, you, you had a question? Yeah, no, no, no. Are you done with uh, Nesfos? Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Immigration, illegal immigration. Yeah, that's where I was going. Ah, oh, yeah. Now you're getting the hang of this, eh? <laughs> <laughs> that's where I was going. I love you. <laughs> and I always bring it closer to me, you know? <laughs> Sasselberg, right? Yes. In Sasselberg, there's an area we call in town, mm. right? Mm. There's a certain area completely. It's Nigerians. Mm. I'm talking about shops. Mm. Hair salon, hair salon, hair salon, hair salon, hair salon. Mm. And then there's another section in Machine. Sure. They're running. I think every province has that. You know, mm. but no, that's true. Mm. You, you know, it, it's become a, a problem. Mm. Not that we have an issue with foreigners in the country, mm. but we're talking about mm. documented foreigners. That's not a problem, right? Mm. You go to CBD for anything right now as we speak. Yeah. Yeah. We've surrendered. Mm. Like there's an area you walk into in for anything. Mm. You can literally count, and I don't want this to sound wrong and xenophobic, because Rabona had a South Africans. You can, you know, maybe it sounds wrong. And I apologize. <laughs> and I apologize. You know, I apologize uh, if it comes across the door. But you can literally count the number of South Africans. That it's African Union. I'm not, and I don't know how many of those people mm. are legal and illegal. But we've surrendered a portion of Ferenaching to foreigners. Mm. No, and I, it's like that in many towns. Mm. I think um, you are quite correct. The, yeah. the issue of um, illegal immigrants in the country yeah. is a big challenge. Mm. Uh, we can't ignore it. Mm. Yeah. But this is not coming. This has been established and it's in action. There's a border management uh, authority yeah. that we've introduced last year towards the end of the year. Oh, wow. Um, that border management authority has really, really made a change when in our borders. Mm -hmm. We have managed, just by January, uh, more than uh, 200,000 Zimbabweans were taken back to Zim Yo. by that uh, border management authority. They, they work like um, police. They are, they, are, they, they are well trained. We are increasing their numbers. They are there in our borders along the line. 
But also we have deployed uh, SANDF along our borders mm. because we can't ignore what our people are saying. Because what, what changed? Why did it take only last year, December, for you guys to... Um, it's, it's, I will say at times the issue of speed and efficiency tends to be a challenge okay. uh, when it comes to some of the people who are given uh, positions of authority. Mm. But right now, uh, what the president has done since he came, because you, you needed to train them first. Yes, yes, yes. You needed to, 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 to have... Uh, their existence is, 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 is guided by the system. So there is a bill that had to be introduced. There are um, processes and policies that need to guide them. Remember, they fall into the home affairs. Home mm. affairs uh, is part of the security cluster. Yeah. So all those processes have been done. In fact, we completed last year. They are at work. They are working. We have trained them. They are now working. And it has brought a lot of change. We have stopped many. In fact, even the people that you see that we have found uh, that are being trafficked, You've seen quite a number of stories yes, of yes, trafficked yes. people of mm, late. Mm. It's because of the effectiveness of the border management authority. Mm. And I agree, we need to strengthen our immigration laws. Yeah. Uh, Minister Muswaled, you will see, he's working tirelessly. Mm. There are bills that are in parliament to deal with uh, immigration laws. Mm. But courts as well, you'll know, courts have uh, been against us at times when we are trying to be effective in dealing with illegal immigrants last week exactly so mm. but we must correct it up until courts find it correct because we can't get tired and say no 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 uh, we've surrendered we are not going to surrender and i don't want you to surrender jj mm. let's continue working and make sure that south africa is a country of laws and those who are in south africa are people who must be in south africa people who are not supposed to be in south africa shouldn't be in south africa and it's crazy man yeah. like we 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 we've had the privilege of traveling a lot you know, mm. all over the world in Africa and whatever. Yeah. And what we've realized is like um, the crimes um, and, you know, I don't want to sound xenophobic like mm. JJ as well. Mm. Uh, the crimes that people commit in SA, like let's say if it's a Zimbabwean, I'm just giving an example. They don't do that in their own home. Yeah. It's the craziest thing. They do it here. Yeah. And to add what you say, Mac, I actually, there's a story running around that a lot of illegal foreigners um, that were arrested were released by our courts because our courts didn't have translators. Uh, not necessarily a lot. Um, in fact, we they are not just uh, released because there is no translator. Those cases are taken back uh, to court up until we do find a translator. But we have upped the game as well when it comes to that. Because remember, <clears throat> we are a country that is coming from a situation where we're not open to other countries. Mm. We're not a country that was uh, open to, mm, mm, mm. in particular, our neighboring states. Mm. Uh, mm. So Sorry. now mm. we got opened. We are a jewelry of uh, Africa. Mm. And everyone sees us as a breadbasket of the mm. continent. Everyone wants to come to South Africa, and South Africa believes South Africa is bad. But everyone wants to come to South Africa, and you must know that it's because South Africa has got everything. But we can't allow that to continue. It's harming our economy. The hospitals in Gauteng are overburdened. Mm. The hos hospitals in, 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 in Guazulu Natal, in Limpopo, in Western Cape, Northern Cape, wherever, they are overburdened. Because a number of people who are not supposed to be benefiting or accessing those hospitals are accessing those hospitals incorrectly so. But some are even defrauding the state when it comes to social, social grants. People who are in the border with KwaZulu Natal in Swaziland, yes. border with KwaZulu Natal in Mozambique, border with Lesotho in South Africa, they are defrauding South Africa with Botswana and, uh, yeah, and Northwest. They yeah. are, so those are the things that were working. And the work that is being done, believe you me, it, it's quite a lot. It's not going to be a one-day event. I don't want to come here no, and course, make it as course. if it's going to be a one-day. A lot happened. Uh, mistakes were made, but mistakes are being corrected what, and some have been corrected. What do you think about the law and order in this country? Are you happy with it? N no. Nah. Uh, but a lot has, has been done to improve. One thing that President Ramaphosa did when he came in, when it comes to law and order, because it's, it, I must be honest, there is quite a lot that is not uh, going okay, but there is a lot of improvement. He managed to first identify where the challenge is, mm. our prosecuting authority. Mm. We're unable to prosecute people. Then we've managed to deal with prosecuting authority. There's an, a, an independent investigation unit that has been established, permanent one now, that is helping in prosecuting uh, all these people. Mm. Guess what? In the five years, he has managed to bring in more than 20,000 20, police. 
Oh. Just recently, we released 10,000 police because we want to make sure that there is order, there is law enforcement in, in, in the streets because it's important to have police being visible in our streets. Why don't we have cameras? Yes, the issue of cameras is important and we are installing them. You will see in Gauteng. When they're you, coming. You, you, no, 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 no. They've been installed. <laughs> yeah. no, 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 no. They've been installed. Uh, I don't know where you're staying, Matt. Uh, when you drive around how they, you'll see that. Uh, cameras. cameras are everywhere. Yeah, in yeah. fact, a number of uh, crimes that have been committed, we caught them in camera because we've got cameras everywhere. But also, we are in collaboration with private sector. We'll use your camera at home oh. as well. Yeah, that's how it happens in the world. Yes, we yes. won't have camera everywhere as government. Yeah. But even your camera at home helps us. Even cameras in shops, malls, and everywhere, we use those cameras, those systems. So cameras are important, and I, ho I hope you heard what Panyaza said. Lovely. Fat Chica, you rang the bell. What do you want to say? Um, I have a few questions for him, but it moved. I'd like to divert back to the illegal immigration one, right? Um, what does government have to say about these private companies and private sectors that are employing um, illegal immigrants? Ooh, we do one. have legislatures and bills in, yes. mm. in our documents that state that it is illegal and such companies should be either fined or closed down. Yet we find a lot of illegal immigrants working in our You're companies and mm. malls. And then, Let me take that one. Okay. Okay, I have a second question. Uh, yes, I will take it. Cool. Uh, you are quite correct. Mm. I'm in support of what you are saying. Government, President Ramaphosa is in support of what you are saying. Uh, there is a bill as well that is coming to regulate that. Uh, we have identified it as a challenge. Many provinces have came to the to, to president to say, President, we can't have uh, people working. I know the, the, the hospitality sector is the sector where we are more challenged mm. in particular. Restaurants. We're in restaurants, in hotels and everywhere. That's where we are mainly challenged. So that one is being dealt with. We fully agree. And um, our people, uh, we want to introduce even in, in, in opportunities that we want to introduce. We have identified hospitality sector as one sector where we can employ a massive number of people. So you can't employ people if you've got illegal immigrants working. And such companies must be fine. We agree with you. And they are, that such things are being dealt with. Bills take time. But it's coming, you get this one. <laughs> <laughs> this one here is coming. Uh, I want to talk about... Here's a follow-up question. Oh, yes, 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 yes. I'm just saying that bills are coming, but there is already an act about it. Oh, by the way, I am a law student, That's right? That's good. Mm. So in our labor law acts... Cook, my sister, cook, cook, cook. That does stipulate <laughs> that it is illegal. You have to have paperwork and companies yes, that true. do not have people with paperwork mm. should be fined. So I don't understand you saying it's coming when it's already... No, no, no. So no. I'm just going to go to the I'm, toilet. It, no? It's a different bill that I'm talking about. Remember. Oh, okay. Uh, it's a different bill. It's not only about fining. It's not only about fining. The yeah. bill is holistic that I'm talking about. Oh. It's, but what we are saying, it's, it's again the monitoring and the oversight that we need to play and putting our laws into action. You are quite correct. We need to put our laws into action. Those companies need to be fined. And uh, if laws are there, they must be used. Uh, I fully agree with you on that. Uh, Mr. Okay, Zbier, um, you spoke a lot about... So, Ida? Oh, no, I want. I had a second question. Okay, that's fine. Yeah. Um, my hey, second. <laughs> <I'm skinny. laughs> okay, my my second okay. question is regarding um the law and order that was mentioned yes. recently, right? Um, one of the biggest issues that was actually highlighted by the ground up and a few news um broadcasting channels is that we have a shortage of judges in our courts, right? And I hear you speaking about mostly the police that will be on the field. But what is happening with cases of when there are not enough judges to preside in court cases? Thank you. I think recently you've seen it. President yes. has just um, uh, given a green light. In fact, the chief justice has appointed new judges. There are new judges that have been recently appointed who are literally dealing with the, the justice system, not only policing and law and law enforcement, but the justice system in its entirety. Minister Lamola has also done quite a great job. We have brought a number of new judges in the system, uh, and the majority of them are black, and the majority of them are women. I hope you will be a judge one day, oh. and I will be very happy to see you being a judge. And I think you know that uh, Judge Maya will be the next uh, Chief Justice, oh. and we are breaking new grounds. Mm. So we are very, very committed in making sure that justice system works, and it works effectively. Mr. Zay, 
sorry, Mike, you, you spoke about border management control, et cetera, yes. et cetera, et cetera. But what are we doing about the illegal foreigners that are already inside the country that have taken over wards or areas or sections yes. uh, and certain townships? Girls, they've girls, taken all of them. They, they've taken the girls. <laughs> they, they've taken over the township, Mark, the, the tax shops, Koka, see. What are we doing about the... <laughs> About those, yeah, you know, no. that have take that that are already settled, but they don't have the right paperwork. You know, sorry, Mac, about uh, your guess, <laughs> but it's okay. Uh, the the the, the and it's, selling it's drugs. The yeah, yeah, it's the reality. It's mm. the reality. We we can't hide it. We can't yeah. hide it. We are not being xenophobic. We are being realistic. It's what we see on the ground. Mm. We don't live in any other country except South Africa. We are, you, I think you've seen home affairs. Yeah. going into different areas. They were in Northwest uh, just this week. Yeah. We, are, we are targeting areas, like you say, the CPDs. Let me make an example here in Johannesburg. What is this place? Berea. Hillbro. No, no, no. Hillbro. Hillbro. Not, is it Hillbro? Yeah, Hillbro. Hillbro. Yeah, it's Hill. No, Hill. no Hillbro. Is, yeah, Hillbro. Hillbro, Hillbro Yovi. 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 Yeah. You know, I'm coming from rural areas. These yeah. were the places you will hear about yeah. and you think it's so yeah. good. Yeah. So, so, <laughs> <laughs> no, you know, we are targeting the government is targeting some areas. Home Affairs goes with a full team of SAPS, yeah. a full team of uh, 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 Home Affairs officials because yeah. they are the ones who deal with uh, illegal immigra Im with immigration issues. Let me yeah. just say holistically immigration issues. Yeah. So we are literally on the move, taking these people out, deporting them mm. because you can't arrest them and uh, put them in our jails. They will be. We are deporting them. But Mr. Zbia, yeah. the target always seems to be the black foreigners. But there's a China city in almost every Chinatown, in almost every city. Are the yes, Chinese? That's bigger? very true. We that's need to go true. for the Chinese. As no, well. no, no. We are going for everyone. Whether we're Chinese, we're Japanese, we are uh, uh, whoever. India, we must. Pakistan. Pakistan is the yes. capacity. They have the government has the capacity to do the deporting, or is it just stationing them across no, 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 the no. area? The, and Lindela. Then, Lindela. And then no, 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 no. We are deporting them now. There was wow. an issue with Lindela. In fact, even Lindela got so full, uh, we didn't have space. We are deporting them. We have put but home Matt, affairs. Matt doesn't know what Lindela is. Please explain to me. No, 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 is. no, I know. You, you know. know. It's Pakistanis, the Chinese, the Japanese. Hey. It's a jail for all of them. <laughs> hey. Mac. I told you. you <laughs> don't, he doesn't know. No. Please explain to him what Lindela That's is. That's where we take people to, you know, when to process them. Mm. In fact, I would say it's some kind of just a, a language. It's like for an you, airport. It's, 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 it's a park station kind of. We oh. park you there mm. while we process you and then we deport you. Wow. Uh, so it's some kind of, not a jail, when you want to <laughs> say <laughs> jail. But, but then why don't we get the different uh, embassies? Like if you know you have 5,000 Zimbabweans, mm. 3,000 or 500 Nigerians, why don't we get the embassy of, 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 of Nigeria to, to go pay for food for them? To to because I mean it's their people, right? You know why, guys, why can't they pay for them? Why, can, are, why can't South African government yeah, invoice you Nigeria? You are entering a space of wow. uh, inter, international relations. No, but, but uh, wait, I'm getting. Uh, no, 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 I get you. I <laughs> get you. Yeah, if I go to your house, no, I get you. Yeah. I get you so well. Okay. Once people are in South Africa, yeah. South Africa has a responsibility to deal yeah, with those people. Yeah, exactly. That is the reality. To cut them. Them, it's, uh, it becomes our responsibility. Once we allow them to come in, the reality is that we must avoid having illegal immigrants coming to South Africa. Then once they're in South Africa, it's like yeah. having people building a shack. When people go and build shacks, you know, mm. uh, when people go build shacks for so many days there and we don't remove them, you can't do anything. You must mm, find them a space. Mm, 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 mm. Yeah. You have so, to find them a space. Yeah, you have to find them a space. Mm. Uh, that's that's the law. Mm. So that's I can go to a park in Sentin now and, yes. and set up a coup. If they don't remove you, let me tell Who's you. Who's supposed to remove me? The, the municipality. In how long? Uh, I can't remember the days. I don't want to lie. Yeah. Uh, but it's, it's short. It's very short. It's not even a month. Just talk. Shiba, it's homeless. not a month. I don't know what you're thinking. <laughs> but whatever you that you're thinking, you think, you think, you don't do it. Yeah. Law enforcement is very strong. Please, don't <laughs> do it. <laughs> no, I saw land there by the Val River. I live in the Val So I'm thinking of setting up a book with it. No, 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 no. no. You know? JJ, they are good citizens. Just be good citizens. The most important... It's mine, right? Yeah. No, 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 the land is mine. The most important thing is South Africans. No, but if I set up a book by the Val The most important thing is South Africans. Let's be good citizens. Yeah, yeah, no, if we can no. promote good citizenry and all of us become yeah. good citizens, I can tell you we'll have a better country. We do have challenges, yeah. but I can tell you 
if we can be good citizens and all of us don't do wrong things yeah. and we avoid doing wrong things. When I'm talking about wrong things, I'm not talking about petty things. Yeah. I'm talking about serious stuff. Yeah. You know, in South Africa, we celebrate criminality. Mm, yeah. Societies celebrate criminality. Yeah. And we then go and criticize the state. We, we celebrate people that we know very well, they don't work. But we see them having money, having everything. They become our role models. We know that this child has, has gone, this boy has gone and you know, to J, to, to, to Mac or JJ's house, stole your TV and everything, brings it back, we buy it. We're a society that celebrates everything that is wrong. We just celebrate. And we don't want to talk about these things. And these are societal matters. Lord no, it's not less shady. It's not. <laughs> <We're> dealing, <laughs> it's not dealing with Lord shady. No, 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 no. But I'm saying we, 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 we can't be a society that celebrates everything that is done, that is wrong. If we're a society that wants to see change, Change must start with us. I love right. that. And it wants mm. uh, it brings me to I uh, save the best for last. Mm. Corruption. Yeah. Yes. Uh, a friend of mine told me something very funny. Are <laughs> people say that the NC is corrupt? Mm. Are people that haven't gotten tenders. <laughs> <laughs> they have not got what? They yeah. haven't gotten tenders. <laughs> <laughs> You know what? On that one, no, uh, the only people that say the NC is corrupt. You know, on that they one, have, they don't have the <laughs> In South Africa, everyone hates corruption. Yeah, but everyone wants to be involved in corruption. Mm. Yeah, you bribe police. Yes, you do everything yes. in the yes. road. You you we want tenders in wrong in wrong way, mm. but we hate corruption. NC is corrupt. We all hate corruption, but we are part of corruption. That's the society we have became. Mm. It's easy to talk about corruption in South, in South Africa. Have it's you bribed? Easy to talk. Koli, Koli, Nyana. There is no way. My character, mm. you, you'll never even start bribing me. Mm. I'm a character that it's not easy even to approach for wrong things, mm. for wrong yeah. reasons. Okay. I'm not saying I'm a saint. Mm. I'm not a saint. Mm. I, I, I'm a human being. Mm. I do have my own thoughts. Drinking and driving, Nyana. <laughs> His character I'm, I'm a good man. I'm a good man. I'm a good man. I'm a mama's boy. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I was brought up by a good lady. I loved my mother. So whatever that I do, I always think about my mother. Oh, I yeah. Yeah. So I must do good. But, but Mr. Zbier, why don't we have like some sort of law, some sort of policy that says, and I'll I'll tell you where I'm going with this question, whereby um like a lot of corruption happens at home affairs. Why can it not be people that are born and bred in South Africa that only work at home affairs. Like, government, I guess we've got those certificates. Okay, no, you know what, you know what, Let, let's take it back. Let's just do this. Oh, okay. can, just, can, uh, I, can I tell you I'm going with Yeah, this wait, question. hold on, hold on. Yeah. Uh, we're going to go around the room. Yeah. Ne? Just listen, and I want everyone to talk about how they would cure corruption. Let's start with you, JJ. How they what? You'd cure corruption. Okay. That's cool. What's your That's resolution? I, I want to focus on home affairs. Yeah. And I want to extend on my question, because I was once in an Uber, right? Um, going to leaving my house, going to somewhere south of Joburg from the farm. Mm -hmm. And this Uber driver was telling me that home affairs in Kempton Park, right? There's a lady from Zimbabwe who makes it easier for other Zimbabweans yes. to get South African citizenship. He didn't care. He said, he even said Kempton Park. Now, the thought came to me and said, this person is not patriotic, right? He has no... He, he, he doesn't feel the need to protect the Republic as much as I want to because I'm from here. So I asked myself, why can't the government come up with a law that says well, it should only be South Africans that work at home affairs? Because that way, you know, you know, not even your grandmother no, no, I must be from you. another country because that way there's a level of patriotism. But, we, we but, are, and, and I'm not saying that South Africans are not corrupt that work at home affairs. We are a constitutional democracy. Yeah. We, constitution is the supreme law of the country, yeah. of the land. Um, You've got people who are born mm. uh, of a mother who's a Zimbabwean, a father who's a South African, and yeah. they are South Africans. And you can't discriminate on them. Mm. And they Does that person relatives. have they loyalties got, to another country? That one, it, 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 it's, it's a here or there. Okay. That one is a here or there. Mm. But the constitution allows them to okay. work in South Africa. They are South Africans. Yeah. By law. By law, they are South Africans. They were yeah. born in South Africa mm. by a Zimbabwean mother. A South African father, or a Zimbabwean father, a South African mother. Yeah. They are South Africans by law. Yeah. You know it, it happens all over the world, not only in South Africa. Mm. Yeah. So that's the reality. But I get the sense of what you are saying. Mm. The yeah. patriotism mm. that we need. But the sad part is that even S South Africans are not as patriotic yeah. as you would yeah. think. Yeah. They are yeah. the ones who sometimes help 
illegal immigrants yes. to get do illegal documents or right. legalize them in South Africa. Mm. South Africans. Mm. And, and that's persons. how disloyal we are in our country. Yeah. Uh, Ghost Lady, your cure for corruption? What do you think would work? I'm trying to remember. There was something that Saul said and we, what was a, it seemed like a whole joke. Um... I can't remember. Oh, no, you know what he said? He said at the borders, you must put someone who hates foreigners. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> As an xenophobic person. Guys, you guys, you guys are dangerous. <laughs> no, guys, come on. He's gonna make sure. <laughs> okay. No. Tell me. Let me tell you about. Sorry. Let me tell you about borders. <laughs> we, in fact, we we president has introduced something new. We are going to be having scanners in all our borders. We are going to scan even trucks. Oh. We are no longer going to look at the invoice, what is in the truck, mm, and mm, then mm. say you pass. Mm. Like in any other well-developed country, yes. in our harbors, in our borders. The, the, they are being procured, as I'm talking right now. Mm -hmm. We are buying scanners to make sure that we avoid any illicit good, mm -hmm. goods to come inside the country. Mm -hmm. It's about corruption as well, trying to deal with corruption, because the issue of corruption is broad. When you talk about um, the, the, the corruption that was happening, let me check about Mshabi uh, Alingana in Guazul Natal in Josini, where quite a lot of cross-border crime is happening. Uh, cars were taken uh, to Mozambique, yeah. South African cars. If you can go back right now and see what is happening, we have dealt with that, literally. Mm -hmm. We have built the uh, Jersey barriers. There are barriers that we have built deep on the ground. I don't know how many meters. You can't even push them with a tractor or a TLB. Mm -hmm. um, you only, go, because they used to cut a fence. So now you can't do that. Because we are dealing with the issue of cross-border crime. We are dealing with the issue of borders. We are obsessed with it, believe me. So, But I was just introducing that mm -hmm. because we are talking about Ill illegal immigration and anything that has to do with it because the illicit goods, the cigarettes, a uh, uh, mag, the mm. cigarettes, uh, illegal cigarettes mm. is a serious challenge as well. Mm. And people must stop, uh, uh, you know, to smoke illegal cigarettes. But mm. even smoking is very dangerous for your health. Mm. We can continue. <laughs> <laughs> it's syntax. It's syntax. It's syntax. Yeah. No, that's, Listen, that's... With, with corruption, man, I really like what Singapore did. I don't know if you know about what Singapore did. Mm. I've been to Singapore twice, but uh, you can tell me. Uh, I don't know. You can correct me if I'm wrong for a check, and I just check. But I, I know I heard or like the president right, to curb uh, um, corruption mm. when he became president. What this guy did is that um, the moment any MEC or an official mm. had mm. vibes mm. of being corrupt, mm. they were arrested mm. same time. Mm. So mm. as soon as they left the country, let's say they went to Dubai to mm. do some mm. shady deal mm. and oh, come sure. back, as mm. soon as they landed in the country, Zaka. they were arrested. Zaka. Yeah. So do you not think, because corruption is rife in many different departments, home yeah. affairs, everywhere, right? Mm. It's rife. It's like it's normalized now. We don't even flinch when we hear corruption. It's like part of our yeah. DNA. It's part of our daily life, right? 100%. Do you not think it should start from the top oh, where... Okay. The, the 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 president enforces yeah. such a law where the people at the top are getting yeah. Uh, 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 president Ramaphosa is uncompromising about that. I fully agree with you. Mm. In fact, his thinking is that we shouldn't have anyone uh, in the higher office in higher offices who's uh, dubious or involved in any uh, corrupt. Uh, but activities. we haven't seen any. Uh, um, uh, you 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 you've seen quite a lot. Uh, I won't want to <laughs> to be specific. You've seen quite a lot. But watch the space and watch what the ANC is going to do as it deploys um, the new members uh, of parliament and in legislature, in legislature. So you can arrest these people that are corrupt. They can be arrested. We have arrested some. We so have arrested some. How do people like Edwin Sodi get away with it? Watch the space. If he's corrupt and if he's uh, uh, having uh, some criminal activities that he has committed, definitely he'll be arrested. Huh. He will be arrested. But believe me, you've seen, uh, yes, he will be arrested. If That's there crazy. are any wrong things that have, he has done, he, mm. he must be arrested. But it, already there are things that have been happening with him. Mm. There are things that have been mm. happening with him in terms yeah. of uh, what he had. Mm. Uh, some asset forfeitures and other things have happened. In fact, in corruption, if we can be honest, um, with the state capture, you, we've retained 8 billion rands oh. with the state capture. That was stolen. 8 billion rands is back. Asset forfeiture, that uh, uh, asset forfeiture unit has been able to deal with about assets worth 14 billion rands. Oh. So there is quite a lot of work that is being done when it comes to corruption. It's mm. not like we are sitting in our laurels and mm. enjoying mm. what is being done. Corruption is rife and it's being dealt with 
And people who are corrupt, I must tell you the truth, they won't have space in government. This but private sector, we must not forget because oh, yes. it's, it's their collaboration. Mm. It's government. It's, 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 and they it's, might be it's even not, worse. In fact, mm. it's not even no, politicians. No, private sector is worse. It's, it's, it's worse it's, than government. It's not even politicians because mm. we always think people who are corrupt, it's politicians. Mm. Some public, uh, public uh, service uh, workers, people who are working for public sector, uh, just uh, managers and whoever, they are the ones as well who are involved. It's not politicians only, and we're dealing with them. But public sector is worse. Look at what happened private. when it private sector. So yeah. private sector is work is worse. Look at what happened when it comes to the auditing firms. Mm. Look at what happened. The the most prestigious firms. Mani manipulation of the rent. Manipulation now. of the rent but right now. The banks. But Marcus uh, Eusto is not in jail. Sorry. Ma Marcus Eusto. Uh, what was what's that the... his case? Yes, I remember the, the, stain the, the stain of case. He's not that in jail. That case is being pursued. That case is being pursued. It's believe me. I know Minister Lamula will, from time to time, brief us on that case. Yeah. Um, I know in Germany they are dealing with him as well. Yeah. Uh, but even here in South Africa, we are uh, uh, pursu pursuing him. We are not going to allow. It doesn't matter whether they are black or white. In fact, this this, this thinking that whites um, always get away with murder. It's it's not gonna. No, happen. but I think the difference is I don't know. I could be wrong, but it seems like obviously during apartheid they were yeah. looting, they were corrupt they as well. They looted, but they did the job. Our, our, the problem is our comrades is they don't do the job. In fact, it doesn't matter whether you do the job or not. If you are doing it in a corrupt way, it's wrong. It does matter because... It doesn't, uh, JJ, because there is JJ. Mm. Uh, uh, yeah, Mac, JJ is, is very JJ, corrupt. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, mm. come on. Mm. Uh, I'm saying there is Mac G mm. who wants to get that opportunity, but Jomo decided to give it to JJ incorrectly. JJ does perform the job, but it was done correct, incorrectly because the person was deserving. One of the things that President Ramaphosa is obsessed about is about people who are fit for purpose. It's about the deserving people. We can't just say because now we've got access to everything, then our closest people must get everything. Ah, but let's be realistic, Mr. Sibir. Yes. I mean, if I'm president, all my niggas are eating. Ghost ladies, head of what what? <laughs> you know that. And, and, you know, and, you, and, and you, let's be honest. And you know where Mike is, Mike is going? Mm. Because there's this notion, mm. uh, Mr. Sibir, mm. that the president prefers white people. Let me get to Abo, the, the former CEO of ESCOM, mm. you know, and all these. Because mm. it seems like it's people that are in a circle, right? No, no. And they're uh, you know, let so me, it, let it me, almost feels like... The president didn't know Andre. They were not even friends with Andre. I'm, I'm but just I saying circle. He might be a friend yes, of a friend. I want to go that. I'm happy that you're yeah. raising that. When uh, there was an, a 2017 campaign, mm. um, Nazarek, yep. there was this notion that President Ramaphosa is captured by the Rupets, by mm. the mm. Oppenheimers, white, and monopoly capital. White, white monopoly capital. Mm. Tell me something. What in South Africa that has happened that shows you that um, President Ramaphosa is captured by whites? Why the Oppenheimers are funding other political parties? Not Didn't the they AMC. give him McDonald's? Uh, no, come on. Yeah, they, was not, it, no, 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 no. Guys, come on. But it, those were but, processes that were done. The, the, those deals were done even when he was not even the president. The president, exactly. He was not even the president by then. But all I'm saying is that, do you know that they said he's captured by the West? Mm. Yeah. President Ramaphosa has been to the Eastern countries mm. more than the Western countries. Mm. In fact, far ahead, he's been in the West, Eastern countries. Yeah. President Ramaphosa has made sure that BRICS becomes bigger mm. and better. It's under him. Not the Western countries. President Ramaphosa has only been to America because there was UN, has been to UN programs, has been to Britain because there was these Commonwealth things. Yeah. But you won't find him traveling to the Western countries. Even with the whites in, in South Africa, mm. there is nothing that will change hey, that. By the way, how's the temperature after the ICJ thing with America? We, <laughs> we're shaking grounds because we've got a US tour in two months. He's resolute. Yeah. He's resolute. Oh. Palestinians must be free. Mm. Yeah. He's resolved. So, so it's, 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 it's another, it's another, it's, it's, it's a very good example, mm. Meg, to say mm. if he was captured by whites, he was captured by uh, the, the, the Western countries. Yeah. President Ramaphosa is the first president to ever take head on Israel. Mm. Israel yeah. is the, at the center of the Western agenda. Yeah. But he has taken them head on unapologetically. Yeah. But if he was captured, why would he do that? He has been unapologetically unapologetic. So the temperature, yes, is high. It will cool down, but he's resolute. So we can go and do our year's tour. 
No, no, no. You can go into your, your U.S. tour. The relationships are good. Okay. Literally, relationships between oh. South Africa and America are good. I, mean, um, I can confirm that. Is, there is nothing that is untowards. Yes, there will be issues of differences. It's international world. It's international uh, space. There will be differences, but mm. differences doesn't mean that uh, there are serious tensions. Do you know why I believe that uh, the Oppenheimers mm. and the Ruperts of this world mm. are in cahoots with the president? Mm. You you can see it by media. Because mm. when Jacob Zuma was the president, mm. like every week, mm. <laughs> they were rocking him. Mm. <laughs> bad PR. Bad PR every yeah. week. Do, do you believe President Ramaphosa is not being bashed by the media? Nah. President Ramaphosa is bashed by the media, guys. Every nah. day. He is being bashed he by is. the media. He is being bashed no. by the media. As bad as Literally. One thing I won't do is to talk about somebody else. I talk about Ramaphosa. Mm. Uh, yeah, to gotcha. me, that's my focus. Yeah. Yeah. But he's being bashed by the media, even at times unnecessarily and unfairly. Mm. And this issue of uh, media capturing Ramaphosa, mm. believe me, media writes about Ramaphosa, go and read newspapers every day. They write wrong and bad stories, but it doesn't matter whether they are wrong or bad. They do write things about Ramaphosa. Mm. They do, at times, write things that are not existing because uh, he's not captured. You go to mm. podcasts, mm. you'll find people coming in here in your podcast. Mm. They will bash Ramaphosa. Yes, hey, yes, yes. He's yes, being yes. bashed everywhere. Yes. And this, it's, we understand he's the president. Mm. Like, uh, every leader must get what. Does he know I'm a piano? He does. Wow. He does. Believe me, he does. He can dance. <laughs> uh, he does. He can dance. He can dance. Yeah. So there's a real issue with I'm a piano, right? Yeah. Uh, so what's happening is it's, it's the biggest genre in the world Definitely. right now. Mm. It's going to take over in the next few years. Mm. I mean, you've seen with mm. Tyler. Mm. Yes. Um, yes. What. Yes. Um, Tyler and Tyler ICU. Yes. Mm. Uh, there's a bunch of guys, right? Yes. Mm. yes. Um, the biggest struggle, uh, which Pori raised, I think, last year or beginning of this year, which I agree with him, mm. is with visas. Okay. So a lot of people, a lot of promoters want to book the artists, mm. but they're finding it difficult because the visas are just way too mm. expensive. So mm. it takes them out of the option mm. to, 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 to be booked, mm. you know? And I think... Mm. Because the the, the 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 genre is so rich and so popular, mm -hmm. if that wasn't a hurdle, we would see so much more uh, progression Mac, in that field. And, I'm and this what up. and I'm what Mac is saying up, is that why are artists not cultural ambassadors so that they carry those special passports? Because every time Maporisa or Kabza or Tyler or Tyler mm -hmm. ICU mm -hmm. leave this country, they're mm -hmm. going there to represent us. They're exporting our culture. They're yes. exporting our music. And it's massive. And it's massive. And yes. you found that Nigerians now are the ones oh, leading yes. Mapiya because yes. now it's known as Afrobeats. Let, let, yeah. Because let, of let, South Africans are unable to travel. Let me, let me be mm. honest with yeah. you guys. Yeah. What we have raised, mm. uh, the, the sector of artists is part of the responsibilities that I'm having. Oh, and um, I, our president is very passionate about artists. In fact, mm. we were preparing to have a meeting with the arts, South African artist representatives. Uh, it's going to happen, yeah. but this is not going to wait for that. It's one matter that I'm taking up. This is how yeah. we get issues. Yes. This issue, I'm taking it up mm. because the, the matter that I know we're dealing with when it comes to visas mm. is the time it takes to get a, to get a visa. Yes. Uh, we are dealing with that one. I can, If you can even go to government Google. website, you'll see yeah. what steps we have taken and soon you'll see the change. But the issue of price and in particular when it comes to artists. Mm. Artists are trying to make a living mm. and I agree they are brands mm. uh, but it's not like everyone can be our ambassador. Yes, that yes, is another yes, yes. No, but, but I'm saying Yes, we must make sure that artists uh, can be able to get visas. At uh, let's think about it. I think I, I will take the matter up. Let but, me not uh, Mrs. Co Mrs. <laughs> conclude Mrs. on the matter. But someone here. like Tyler, Grammy Award winning, she's definitely traveling mm. all mm. globally, mm. right? Mm. Black Coffee, mm. Pull of the Song. There's a I number of you. them. You I know, get you. Shimza. Lady uh, Smith, Black Mambazo. No, Black Mambazo. Yeah. You know, Mac G. Mac G. Yeah. You know, what <laughs> class? All of us. Yeah, we can be with you. With you. With you. No, no, no. I get you. But so, so, some of those people, if yeah. they could have cultural ambassadors, passports, you, you've dealt with the visa issue. I get you. Uh, remember, it won't. I, I'm not saying it's wrong. Yeah. I take what you're saying. Yeah. But remember, there's still quite a number of DJs who want to build, go and play uh, abroad. Yeah. There's still quite a number of artists who want to go and perform abroad. Yeah. Uh, we need just to deal with this matter holistically. Holistically, yeah. not, not only just individualistically. Yeah. Because again, 
we will be told that is because these ones are associated yeah. with the ANC. Yeah. You know, there is quite a lot in South Africa. Yeah. Where else? But, but, a different society. I, I don't necessarily mean, when I say culture, I don't necessarily mm. mean it only in music. Mm. Like someone like Lucas Hate, who's mm. celebrated in the UK daily. Mm. The, 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 yeah, I people, get you. People like I that. Get you. you know, Chad Leclerc. You. you know, I there's certain you. South Africans that JJ. are outstanding. Mm. JJ, you mm. know. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> we recently found new oil in SA. Is that true? <laughs> you saw and gas in the, the free state. And gas yeah. in the free state. There is there is there is a big uh, 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 find that we have uh, made. Uh, I think about three years back. Hydrogen. Okay. The hydrogen business is yeah. massive in the yeah. world. There is already an exploration that is taking place there. Yeah. Uh, I believe you know it. There is already. Uh, a plant that is there, yeah. but again, we, there is oil, there is gas along Richards Bay okay. uh, line yeah. in in KZN mm-hmm. that we have found, and already there is uh, work that is being done uh, by our government to make sure that we use that gas. No Western influences, people. nothing, N- nothing, and it's not going to be d- done by Western countries. It's not going to be done. You know, I always ask politicians this. Now. Yeah. How is it that uh, these Arab countries like Dubai or whatever mm-hmm. are able to be the way they are with just oil? But we have everything. Gold, gas. We have everything. But we're not even 10%, bro. Mm. No, I agree with you. How, I, how's, it's, that, it's, how's, how's that? It's something that, to be honest with you, uh, when I sit at home, I think exactly like you. Mm. Um, it's, it's a matter of... Uh, being bold and taking decisions. Uh, it's a matter of being bold and taking decisions. Changing the status quo. But if you listen to President Ramaphosa when he was in Bumalang uh, during uh, January 8, mm. he made it clear, you must go uh, to that video, he made it clear that we are moving to a direction where all our minerals must benefit our people. 100%. We are going to build processing plants in South Africa. Every mineral, that beautiful watch of yours, those rings, mm. we want them to be made in South Africa. Yeah, yeah. So everything, we want the entire value chain mm-hmm. to be to benefit South Africans. Mm. Not just ship gold or chrome or whatever. Mm. We must process because that's where money is in the value chain. Mm. So I, if you listen to him carefully, and even in the State of the Nation address, he said it, he raised it. We are already in action working on that. There is a working group that is dealing with that. It's not an issue of whether it's going to be done or not, we are starting the implementation pro- pro- process of that. It's exactly what has benefited the Arab, uh, yeah. Arabic countries. They are too good. They got They've done it so well. Yeah. Believe me, they are moving beyond oil now oh. because they know oil is not going to last yes, forever. Exactly, yeah. They are starting to get into new businesses. And that's what in South Africa we need to start doing. Mr. Sibir, we want to thank you so much for coming. Uh, but before we let you go, Ghost Lady, last question. What you got? Um, do you have any ambitions to be a president one day? <laughs> <laughs> because hey, you have spoken. <laughs> thank you, man. Uh, thank you. And you survived us. It's bad. Believe you me, it's, it's bad. You, it's bad. And you've got guys in the corner, dark corners there, looking at you like, you're like what's happening here? They're about to sleep you. You know, they're looking at you like they are sitting <laughs> emotional, em- emotionless, and but guys, uh, no. And uh, with your question. Mm. Um, I'm coming from the ANC. Mm. Uh, ANC has quite has got quite a number of leaders who are capable, who are far better than me. Mm. I'm just an ocean, a, a drop in the ocean. Mm. Um, I'm just uh, somebody who must do his task and live. But generally, what's I'm sorry to, to sorry yeah. to, to um to just uh, cut you there. Yeah. Um, generally, what happens is that there will be some disagreement or unhappiness that one would may have, and then they start their own party, and then you become a leader. <laughs> Basically, what I'm just asking. Are there ambitions one day to be a president? Even if in the long okay. lineage of uh, as much as you appreciate it. Let me tell let me tell you this. As much as you appreciate all the other this. ones who are let capable of this. being a leader. I'm so grateful to the ANC. I wouldn't be who I am if it wasn't wow. for the ANC. Wow. Okay. My society wouldn't be having what it's having today, where I'm coming from, wow. if it wasn't for the ANC. I will forever be loyal. I don't even want to talk about being black, green, and gold. Mm, mm, mm. I've heard people saying that I will be forever <laughs> be loyal to the ANC. It has, it has done wonders for our people. Do you think we'll only appreciate uh, President Cyril Ramaphosa when he's gone? You know, you, you don't know what you have until it's gone. Type vibe. Um, you know, if um, my wife will know what I will say about that. Yeah. We always talk about that. Mm. Give it ten years down the line. Mm. I always talk about it. I know today people will say we are better off. 
But one day you'll realize what he was doing. Yeah. Like oh. how we hated, um, okay, well, people at that yes. time, they were like yes. against Tabon Bing. Yes. Yes. And then yes. you go my back and you go, actually, Tabon Bing yeah. was the best. Remember, like his alcohol, my lady. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know about that. <laughs> now we're appreciating I you. Don't know. Yeah. I don't know Meg. about that. Let me tell you, <laughs> simple, simple classic example. Mm. When you have a boyfriend or a girlfriend, and you guys, you are so tight, but because you start to think uh, Jomo is bad or it's it's green in the ghost lady, ghost lady um, is we, I think because we have been together for a long time, mm. maybe there is someone better than her. Greener yeah. pasture. Believe you me, it's not always as green as you think. Oh, it is. the devil, you know. Be, you know, <laughs> the grass is greener where you, it, it's, where you water it. Exactly, <laughs> where you water it. But believe me, the uh, President Ramaphosa, for me, I will really appreciate him uh, forever. By the way, if I can tell you how yes. I got to um, love President Ramaphosa. Yeah. I've known President Ramaphosa, if I say no, not close, uh, yes. a closer, you know, closer space or not. We've never been together up until in, when he became the deputy president. We knew President Ramaphosa when we were young mm. uh, with my twin sister and my late brother. I'm a twin. Um, he was still the SG of the ANC. We, will, we had the black and white TV at home. We're young. We're nine, 13 years old. Mm. We will hear about this Ramaphosa, Cyril Ramaphosa. We'll see him in Sebokeng, in mm. Boipatong. Mm. We will, uh, you know, uh, and then we, we got to love this Ramaphosa. Even in, it was... It, Radio Zulu. Mm. That's, it's mm. not saying anything. Yeah. Um, it was Radio Zulu by then. He will speak his uh, Zulu, you know. And we loved this Ramaphosa. We developed love for him. We're in rural areas. There, were, there was no politics. There was by then, in where I'm coming from, ANC was not allied, allowed. Mm. IFP was IFP. dominant. Mm. Oh, it didn't want yeah. ANC. You will be killed. Literally oh, killed. Oh. There were no go areas. So we 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 listened to this Ramaphosa, and then he disappeared in the picture. Mm. And then when President Ramaphosa came back, myself and my twin sister, my brother was late by then. Mm. We said, this man is back. We, you know, it was like, he's been a father that we have lost mm. and he's back. We developed love for Ramaphosa. It's dating back the love for him, especially for me. Mm. I always say I live a dream mm. because oh. I never thought I would work for him. I will be an advisor, um, oh, the president. Crazy. So I live a dream. I that's live it crazy. In. That's that's just my life. I think I think I think President Ramaphosa is lucky to have someone like you in the office. And thank you. You know, we we just hope that more and more leaders could be connected and have a touch point with the people they represent like you do. Thank you know, you. once and once people reach certain levels in their lives and they achieve or they become an MEC, they leave their communities. You know, and they forget what made them who they are, and they forget that you are purpose. They forget the purpose. You're hundred percent, Mac. You know, they forget why they are there. They are there to represent the needs and the everyday struggles of the people that voted for them, that put them there, their communities. You know, you see MECs and ministers at clubs, at parties, with bodyguards waiting in the parking lot. It's embarrassing. It's really embarrassing. And I really hope that the president knows that. His MECs are running around at clubs and parties. Mm -hmm. You know, it's really embarrassing. So don't go we, to parties. No, no, I'm just... Uh, don't invite me. <laughs> but I we're just sharing, you know? So, so we, we are... We, we, I think he's privileged and I really hope that he listens to you more. Mm -hmm. And I really hope that, you know, he he's out there more mm -hmm. and he touches... Like he's got a touch point with everyday people. Mm -hmm. I mean, when I'll die next week, is he going to the stadium? We want to see him there because you, you know why, ne? Uh, like Max said in the beginning. I'll make a, a, mm. a typical example. Mm. We always see on TV yeah. uh, Joe Biden eating ice cream. Mm. So we know he likes ice cream. Mm. But we don't know what President Ramaphosa likes. We don't know if President Ramaphosa loves the people. He does loves he, the people. Does he eat you know, a quarter? He does. He eats ma amakwinya. He Wait. eats quarters. You know, no, when, not with you. That, no, 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 Mr. not Sibir. with me. I want but I'm to just saying, this. if, if remember, when he walks remember, around the township, exactly. that, that, you know, does he you stop must, at you must, Sister Bioscope or Jelly Machita? My, go to my Facebook um, around November. Yeah. We went to Limpopo. We went to mm. Tohyando. Yeah. And then when we came back, I think you'll know, uh, Mac, there is a place when you come back uh, where 
Oh, no, but mama selling yeah, mangoes. Yeah, by the taxi rank. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Oh, yeah. sorry. No, no, no. no, 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 no it's along rank. the road. When you're leaving. You're only yeah. leaving. Yes, 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 yes. you know it. It's like a market, a small exactly. market. It's like a small market. He, he went there. He spent an hour there. Wow. He brought money. You know, <laughs> we didn't expect him to do that. He had cash. He was prepared. He brought Did he buy him They sell him basins. <laughs> <laughs> But Meg, <laughs> at least I'm telling you know what I'm busy with. But Meg, <laughs> Meg is controversial. <laughs> President Ramaphosa is a President Ramaphosa is a good diamond. <laughs> That's all right. Well, yeah. great. So what That's happened great. at the market? But I'm saying at the market, <laughs> we, it was raining. Yeah. It was part of all. Mm. It was raining. Yeah. He, we stopped the convoy. Mm. Stopped the convoy at that market for an hour. He bought mangoes, mm. the pawpaws and everything. everything yeah. From each and every mother was selling there. Mm. We went to KZN uh, in, 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 in Josini. Yeah. And then he just decided to stop at Engine Garage. Mm. He will stop at Engine Garage. That's how he connects with people. He yeah. gives people time. Uh. He's able to say, no, 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 Jom. Even people, if you know, at times, you know, protect us. They yeah, have yeah. a responsibility. We must mm. protect the number one. Mm. And he will always tell them, no, no, Chill, no, I love this one. Chill, mm. Relax. I love... And protect us. They've got the responsibility. Yeah. If anything happens to him, they're in trouble. They're in trouble. Yeah. But he's such a man who wants to be, uh, you know, accessible to everyone. That's so... He's a man... But we never see that. That's we what never, he's they, saying. We don't they, see it. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm so and shocked. He's going to lie next time. And, and every time we see him. I will do that. And every time we see him, like there's a video... I think he was at Kwama Show, one of the malls yeah, now. Ne? Yeah. There's a lady it, it, that umlaz. came. Umlaz. There's yeah. a lady that gave, that gave, mm, gave him a, a high, high five. five. Mm. But immediately after that, the protector was like, <laughs> you, that's, you know what that's, I'm saying? So he, he, exactly. Mm. I'm, I'm glad I've addressed that. Yeah. But remember, they've got the responsibility. Yes, 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 yes. So, but the, to be honest with you, mm. President Ramaphosa will come even to your place and visit yeah. you. Mm. He, ah, he must. He, 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 around. <laughs> he, he eats everything. He yeah. wants to see people being around him. Yeah. He's a man of the people. Remember, he still have a home in Soweto. Yeah. And he does visit. Wow. Literally, he does visit uh, in Soweto from time to time. Even oh, the school man. where he went to, he is one man who's obsessed with education as well. I saw him once by Amagwenya at a, at a station in Bloemfontein. Oh. You know, I don't this know what was happening. So yeah, but I was, I was surprised so he had 20 yeah. rand in his pocket. Remember, you know? remember he, the bought a, <laughs> he bought Amagwenya. But yeah. that's, but that's that. That was not even on TV. That who else have you ever seen buying a Macquinia mm. being the president? But he needs to do no, that no, no, I'm more. Saying, who else being a president ever bought a Macquinia in South Africa? Oh, we don't know. Oh, we don't, we don't know. Oh. But, 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 right, but let's the, move the on. point is, it's exactly what no, Mike no, is no, saying. No, no, I agree with you. We need to see. You're going to see. We it. need to. See, I, I mean, our I, communication team must must up the game. Mm. I know it's the game is up, but we only we see must take it further. We only see artists. Yes, you know, artists doing very well. But for example, next week he get Paris and Chiefs. Yeah, um, it's pirates and chips. I'll, I'll be there. I'll be there. Pirates is going to be chips. But but you know, I'm not saying he must go there and campaign. Not, but not genuinely, to... is he is he going to call you and say, "Hey, Chomos, I'm finding game here. La role shape la You know, I mean, he's, he's exactly such a guy. He will wow. call you and ask what, even if he didn't see the score. What was yeah. the score? Who scored the goal? Mm. He's he's. Remember that thing during the rugby? That's how he is. That's a man. That's Ramaphosa. So, so he's a pirate supporter. He's with us. Kill Pagani. No, he supports the country. Yeah. He supports the country. He wants to start a war. He wants to start a war. Mr. Sevilla, thank you so much for coming, man. Yeah. Like, we've, 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 we've taken enough like, of your time. Yeah. One second. Mm. Mr. Sevilla, I, I don't know how true this is. Ne? I please confirm. Well, what's the story with Ama? Kushesh. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. I heard you collect them. You yes. collect them, Kushesh. Is it true that you um, are... You know, I said I live a dream. Mm. Yeah. You will see I'm wearing a high-tech. Yeah. Mm. The story of a high-tech, behind the high-tech, it's... I grew up in rural areas, and Abu Puti, who were working here in Johannesburg, mm -hmm. used to come back wearing high-techs. We used to envy them. High-tech was everything. Mm -hmm. I couldn't afford high-tech. Mm -hmm. And I've got nine pairs of high-tech. They are cheap. Mm -hmm. I wear high-tech and nothing else. Cheers. Uh, because I'm living a dream. Yeah. To me, that's the life I'm living. Gusheshes. I started owning a Gusheshe when in 2002. It was a 323. Guess where we brought, we bought it? Here in Julius. Mm. Yeah. Uh, we bought it in Julius mm. with my father. Mm. I had some money and my father topped up. I bought a 323 i in Julius. And... It's, it's what we grew up loving. Mm. And even now, I love kusheshes because by when I was growing up, I couldn't afford them. Mm. Now, kusheshes are not expensive, you know that. Mm. And I just love them because... 
to me, it's the car. It's the car. Wow. To me, these are the cars. My father left a back hips. Mm. You know, the Hilux. Mm. The old Hiluxes. Mm. If you can see it, I drive it. I drive mm. that Hilux. Those are the cars. No security, no bodyguards. You'll go to, to KZ and not only where I'm coming from. They will tell you. I don't drive around with bodyguards. I drive around. I drive myself. In fact, I always say, you'll drive with bodyguards. Yes, if, you know, like MECs. Mm. Uh, it's provided. Mm. It's low. Mm. But at times, you must be yourself. Mm. These people must protect you. Mm. Help these people and they will protect you. Yep. If you don't help them, then they will see you as their enemy. Mm. That's how people are. So for me... How many gushes you got now? <laughs> let's go to numbers. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's not go to numbers. <laughs> but I love gushes. Well. They are beautiful gushes. And Have you ever taken the president my... on a spin in a gushes? That's what you want to see. No, President, Why uh, not? can't be put in such danger. Why not? <laughs> That's very day. Spinning, guys, you no, know. No, no, not spinning. Like driving around with him. You'll you know? see one day. You will be cruising around the street of Johannesburg with nice. the president. In a gushesh. In a gushesh. Head. When does uh, he get time to make love to his woman? He's so busy. No. no. His wife. No, not in a literal sense, right? But be loving, be at home. No, right? literal sense. He's a man. Come on, we all have needs. It's time to go. We all have needs. <laughs> President, is a President is a father. President is a father. We are here, man. Big shout out to Mr. Sabia. Yeah. Thank you so much for your time, Thank my you. brother. Thank, Thank you so, so much. much. Thank you Podcast so much. and chill. We are here, man. Boom. Thank you so much. <laughs> Welcome to Black Excellence. Do not fear, for if you do, just sip on some grandeur. And if you still do, ask ourselves, what would Mapapunzi do? Parama chilla, itlesha lefiki. Bungo even if when they ask you, how sabin, do not fear. For if you do, just say, Anistivi. This is the medicine of censorship. This is the pill. Which one is that one? Podcast and chill.